Oh. Oh. Race was, baby. Back in the building. Kurt. What? Oh, wait, hold on. What's it? What is this? <laughs> Is this another one of your Bill Cosby's? No, it's my song I want. We'll make you feel beautiful. I was lying about Dr. Cosby's album. Because I'm opening it from now on. It won't be there all the time. We're not going to be a rape theme show. It's not. It's just one letter we have to change. We could be rape wars so easily. This show will not be your Facebook account. It's not going to be rape based. You can look at him right now. And everyone sings along with it. The and children. You can sing this okay. song to him. Okay. <laughs> Get to the song, Dr. Cosby. I don't Cosby. need no bad drugs. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't need no bad drugs. I sing every day. <laughs> this part of this message is good. I don't need no bad drugs. Yeah. Who needs bad drugs? I don't need no bad drugs. I was telling my weed dude that the same the other day. I don't need no bad drugs. <laughs> I think it was my weed, dude. <laughs> you don't remember? Who knows? <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye! Nailed it! It's so polite at the end, Good too. Good God Almighty, you and your uh, Bill Cosby. Yeah. You can't let it go. Well, it was their idea, but I, I approved of it. You approved of it, right? Yeah, you should never see Bill Cosby coming. <laughs> should be a surprise. <laughs> That's true. I agree with that. <laughs> well, we got good guests. We got great guests. Oh, All right, Thank you, Cosby. Cosby. Okay, enough of Listen, you, fucking Huxley. Cosby Tron. All right. Well, yeah, we got Dante, and he brought his buddy Combat Jack with what's us. Dante Nero's in the house. What's going on? And Combat Jack. Yo, what's up, Internet? <laughs> <laughs> so you cut because you have the number one hip hop podcast. Is that the? Is that? Am I right in saying? Sure. Yeah. Explain I, I, to I, our I, fans who you are, Combat Jack. So I am Combat Jack. I'm a podcaster. I have. I host a show called Combat Jack. Show right. Um, it you know we do amazing interviews. This week we interviewed Scarface Brad Jordan from the Ghetto Boys. Oh, um, which is you know he's fucking out of his mind. Yeah, he's. A, um, and we I'm, do we do these these great interviews, man. I had this one interview with Styles P from the Locks. Where amazing. We we had him break down and cry. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Styles P. Wow. Styles. I, we we actually once made Scarface cry also. So they call me kind of like the, the rap whisperer. Wait, so you the You're the opera of hip hop. Yeah, no doubt. Mark, you get bro, one, you, you get one, that? and you get one. <laughs> so you break down the hardest of the hard and the coolest of the cool. No, we, we, we just, DMC you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, like, like rap therapy, man. Okay, so I'm right going to listen to yeah. that, right? <laughs> Promise myself I wouldn't do this, son. <laughs> Somebody hit him. Can you reach him from that contact? Bang. I ain't reach him. Bang, man. But thanks for having me on the show, man. Thanks for coming, man. We really appreciate it. You were an in-demand guest, dude. Yeah. The, the fans wanted to the see the fans. You. The fans wanted to see me. What up, fans? Yeah, people were tweeting. I wish I could remember the person who tweeted, but they demanded combat. Jack. Were they yeah. nice or like, like fuck you? Get them no, on the show. They were, no, like, they were just sweet. Get combat Jack. That's nice. Thank you, fans. Get we're combat here. Jack. Yeah, because you have like an interesting back. Somebody was telling. Oh, Cipher Sounds was telling yes. me like your backstory, which I thought was pretty interesting, right? Like when you were like a lawyer or something. I, yeah, I, I practiced law for about fifteen years. One of my first clients was Jay Z. Wait, what kind of law? Criminal? Entertainment. Criminal. Entertainment. <laughs> Entertainment. Yeah. And it was Jay Z, it was criminal if you liked it or not. Because when he shifted when he shifted, man, when he opened his lane up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, criminals. you know. So I made the transition about five years ago, well, about ten years ago. Okay. Uh, and started blogging, and you know, just I had a midlife crisis and fucked up. Well, are you fucked up how? How you fuck up? I just, I just, I just gave up my my law practice. Well, that could and be then, a midlife Christmas. Huh? Then, it didn't turn know, out they, well. Yeah, I mean, it turned out best. <laughs> there man. you go. I'm happy. You living that life. So were you right. his lawyer for that stabbing and all that? Was no, that no, you? No, oh. no, no, no. Before that, the, the first album, uh, oh. Reasonable Doubt. David Darius, Rockefeller, all of that. Oh yeah, album. yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. a great album. Twenty yeah. twos. But really, people didn't twos. respond to it like they should have when it first came out. Now yeah. they feel it. Like, now yeah. everybody's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. phonies. Told, Cypher told me it was phonies. like you started this podcast and then, uh, you know, no, nobody knew that who you were. But right. then people started putting it, like rappers put it together because yep. they were like, that's my lawyer talking. Yeah, that's my fucking lawyer talking. Because <laughs> <laughs> he knows all this That's shit. why he doesn't return my calls. Oh, so you know some secrets. I know some secrets. Okay. Okay, hold up now. <laughs> Client attorney problems. Brooklyn cat. Come on, you ain't an attorney no more. You yeah, just a dude. Nah, nah, yeah. I don't need. I don't need them problems. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then you uh, couldn't help somebody uh, lose. Like, did somebody lose a lot of money and you couldn't like help them get it back or something? A lot of people lost money. A lot of people made money. And now, who was robbing people though? Was it the record labels? Um, usually the record labels. But sometimes mm. you had managers. Sometimes you no. had lawyers robbing people. Now, when you say managers sometimes and lawyers, you had accountants. Accountants. When you say managers, lawyers, and accountants, do you mean Jews? <laughs> uh, I bet it's family. Should we go to commercial? What Every, happened? Everybody. I've seen some some brothers steal. 
See some Jews still. People oh, say it. I've seen he it. said it. I've seen some <laughs> Chinese still. But listen, as long as she doesn't say the Jews, <laughs> right. I just fucked yeah. up because it's like no only article. one Chinese entertainment attorney. Oh, that? Was that? <laughs> it was only one. You got to do the Chan? work. Man. You talking about Chan? <laughs> do the work on that. Chan Esquire, ESQ, <laughs> Chan and Pings. Oh shit! So we about to get racist? Is, is that no, it's not getting no, racist. Do? Well, no, we have we do do the we ceremony. If we get into it, then <laughs> yeah, we do the ceremony. We about to revel in raciousness. <laughs> yeah, well, well, it's always a thing, man. Yeah, I mean, just got a nice Twitter battle. It's recently. amazing that race is sexier than sex, man. Well, definitely um, if you fucking different girls of other races. That, that's true. <laughs> you can make yeah. a real Benetton commercial out of but it. Topic, topic you know wise, why, man, it's the hottest yeah, shit. I'll man. tell you why race is sexier than sex, and I think you're totally right. Yeah. Because like, the deep down fear is like somebody's going to get their dirty other colored dick in, in mm. my women. Like, that's everybody's. I think that's like all races. Oh, yeah, fear. people get scared of that. They, yeah. they it's get, like a dick fear. But in the actuality, it's not yeah. like taken away from your crop. <laughs> she wasn't well, yours, that, she wasn't yours don't, in the first yeah. place. That's I don't why. think like that at all, but I, I know people like, oh, another one got away. But his, his, from his, his, the team. one of the joy, one of the joys of living in New York City and growing up in New York City, you knew you could date anybody you wanted. Yeah. I could get off any train stop and bag a bitch. Mm. And that's what I did. Well, until you were caught, and thank God yes. you were. <laughs> and boy, I had a big duffel bag full of bitches. <laughs> that's <laughs> not how we do it, sure. <laughs> in the bag, bitch. In the bag. <laughs> yeah, but it was the diverse bag. Bag, I guess his, yeah. his heart was in the right place. Yeah, you know who? Absolutely. <laughs> Mine? Yeah, 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 my heart is yeah. always in the right place. That's what the joys are. It's, I want you get to, to mingle. Back you get his dick in the right place. Now, Kurt uh, grew up in a situation, yeah. and his brother. First of all, Kurt's brother is here too. Yeah, he can Ryan back me up on this. What's up, Kurt's brother? K Kurt was not only a lonely child, but he was a freaky, freaky masturbator. Was I? Brother, back me up. You just have to change the room, he get never, out the room. He never, oh, wait, did you get my old room? Yeah. Or did you get Eric's old room? <laughs> did you hear the ghost of fucking Jerkins <laughs> past? Did you, did you, did some socks of mine fall off the shelf and shatter? <laughs> <laughs> what did you find? <laughs> what, were, you a, were you a chronic masturbator? I mean, I was 15 and 13 and 14, so, I mean, there's not And what that you didn't is. even date interracially before you got to the I big city. I nobody. I'm saying you didn't date. Okay, I'll give you that. Sorry, you, you, sorry, you, didn't say, you didn't say you were Jehovah Witness. You got to put that in there, too. But do you know what is good pussy? You get oh, pussy, okay. though. Don't try to put that on a religion. But I wasn't one of them cool ones that, like, I even was like a sucker that just did the religion. <laughs> <laughs> were you afraid of, get, were you afraid of getting pussy? Like, was, was that what I was? fucking, I, yeah, I fucked myself up. I, I didn't realize, like, how much pussy I could have gotten until I, later. Yeah. I like, oh, I really fucked up. Screwed it up. Did, yeah, I was real. Going, did you think you would go to hell if you got some no, of that we sweet meat? No, we didn't think we um, believe in hell, which is good about them. Right. But it's still a thing like you, you're you out, you know, you, you, like if you get caught, you have to repent or you're out. And then everybody stops talking to you. That you, you Do you have to? Well, I grew up with Jehovah's Witness and they had to go in front of the whole congregation and tell what they did. No, no, no. no, no. Sign around that's their neck or what? That's going clear. No, no, no. Okay. That's, not, that's not what they do. What it is is you, you go, the elder, <laughs> so dumb terms, you got to meet with the elders right, of right. the congregation and then you confess to them. And then they... As they be, jerk off and listen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to tell the story till everyone finishes. <laughs> <laughs> They have a uh, one of those dog cones around your neck. Yo, dude, you must be fucked up in the head, man. It must be. I'll yes. say, imagine getting that out of your hair. How well, did you? How did you leave that shit, man? Well, I'll tell you, uh, but, we talk about that a lot on the show. Do, sorry, sorry, yeah. yeah. So if you repent and shit, right? You and you have the option, that, and like, so they give a talk, and they're like, "Brother Metzger has been reproved," but they don't say what you did. They're not supposed to tell. How you many that. elders? Turn It'll your be phone like off, four. Dumb, dumb. I wanted my Cosby thing to come out. It'll be like four, maybe. It was dumb Caitlin tweeting. <laughs> four elders. Yeah, and uh, but the thing is so stupid is, and, I mean, you go to them for, like, marriage problems or whatever. Were they all white? No, no, they weren't. And uh, Don't were they? Sound, seem disappointed when you say it, though, sort of a bitch. I, you know, yeah, I mean, I'm not accepting that, a non-white. <laughs> Who was the non-white one? Who what was that? Which uh, elder? Brother Webb. Brother Webb. That's yeah. a brother. He lived down the rock. For, uh, Irvin. Watchmas. Irvin. Irvin Webb. He was not. I, he was, I liked him. I, I, Work sanitation. Days, I liked him. But uh, so, but these are guys that are like not uh, qualified to be telling you family counseling. Okay, they're just called the elders. But you know, one dude was a plumber. One guy was fucking uh, insurance. That salesman. might be qualified. To tell me, I, like, to you tell me about my pipes. You gotta stick it in here and you pull it out there. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they weren't giving that advice. <laughs> but it's just like, so you so know. how you become an elder? How does that? 
Who cares? Yeah, that's not that's dumb. But I hate I Jehovah's out, and I hate Kurt. Elder. <laughs> Did you ever go to the Black Elders' house, man? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. We, that's where we had the Tuesday night Bible study. It was yeah. lit, right? Well, it was like once a month there was cake night, so that's what you're looking for. I mean, it's such a prison atmosphere being in a goddamn religion. We're getting cake this Tuesday. <laughs> so that I'm hoarding cake in my fucking... Yeah, that was like some, some dumb... It's just like a most boring... It's just a boredom prison, dude. Three nights a week, you're like studying that shit. Studying the Bible. I think all of childhood was a fucking prison when you think back on it, because you can't yeah. do what you want to do. No, you get like uh, that hostage. Uh, you only get what do you call it, syndrome, where you're a hostage. Stockholm. Yeah, Stockholm yeah, that's syndrome. That's what kids mm -hmm. are. You're just like a little hostage with Stockholm that's syndrome. That's why you visit your parents that's on why holidays. They parrot the shit there. <laughs> you know? Until you got candy. Yeah. You go in there like I remember this room. This was my room. <laughs> <laughs> my, I got back in my tiny curled up position. So, wait, wait, wait! You had to talk to the elders about your jerking off problems? No, 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 no. no I wouldn't. He say. just he just was forthright well, with it. They didn't I, ask about it. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a problem. <laughs> <what> I did. <laughs> <laughs> they just said, "How you, you doing today?" He's like, "I'm jerking off." Did. It was I my jerk off success that was the issue. Beige nuts. <laughs> uh, no, no, I had to I like when I was 19. I had I was I was dating a stripper. And I had to. What? Uh, yeah, she wanted to convert to the religion to make she my mom happy. Yeah, and uh, which I was like, I'll this just is leave. All fucked up. You were like, I'll leave. Yeah, I'm like, don't convert. I'll just fucking go. <laughs> I'm like, once I discovered pussy, I was like, I don't care about <laughs> my family. <laughs> uh, don't talk to me again, man. <laughs> Ryan. Don't ever talk to me again. <laughs> well, speaking about a religion, first of all, let's throw this in here. Pope Francis shook up the Catholic world again on Tuesday by announcing that priests around the world will be authorized to forgive the sin of abortion. Ooh, mm. thank God. Yeah, when the church. Dope. Begins four a year visits of mercy. And I'm free and clear. That's four, <laughs> four. I got about. I got. I tell you, I got at right. least nine to ten abortions wow. in the belt. I'm talking about ones I perform. But I went to college. Oh, you perform? Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's good. No, <laughs> you not really the... get in there. <laughs> <laughs> My hands on. <laughs> <laughs> what did you give a little snap at the end? I don't know. You know, I had an ex fucking uh, dead abortion. I was one, but they they the way it did is they gave her a shot of uh, Dipravera or something. Oh, the not Dipravera. They gave her a shot of Shea Shea Thank you, Combat. Shea <laughs> Revolutionary. It was, I don't know. It was, like baby. Chemo it was some shit that stops the embryo from growing. Oh. Okay? And then you put like three morning after pills in your cooch to finish the job. That's a fucking sin. Oh, no. I yeah. had the ones where they but, went in. Yeah, they had but, to go dude, in. this is the fucked up part. They don't just do it at the clinic. She came home, and I had to help her push the fuck. I think she was trying to make me guilty, no, too. No, you didn't. She's yeah, lying to you. Yeah. Yeah. She you was shouldn't have to, to put my... a finger in anything to complete a So you guys have been to the she made me, you know what I realized? That was so she could implicate me in this baby murder we committed. <laughs> yes. Yo. I, like, I knew like, I had to pull the, the trigger. The doctor definitely didn't tell her that because most times the father ain't there to do anything. Oh, man. I thought I was Let free alone. and clear of the murder of my son, <laughs> Toilet Metzger. I, I, had a, I had a chick that get, got an abortion. She wouldn't get the abortion unless I went in the room with her while they did the vacuum. And oh, out. my God. What a I selfish woman. <laughs> I had to sit and they were like. <laughs> how, how many months were she? Uh Maybe about two. Two months? Yeah, yeah. That's still two months is still a small yeah, thing. Yeah, but I was in there while they was fucking vacuuming it out, and then I came out, I was like, man, I really should respect women I had a better. Kid. They had took one kid like, out, he had sneakers on. <laughs> he had sneakers yeah. on. The way. Yeah. Did you have to go through the protesters? <laughs> we had to go to Dr. Oz. <laughs> yeah, 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 that yeah. shit yeah. sucks. Yeah, you had to, uh, the protesters right in front of power. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that's what I, I believe oh, in, that no guilty shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're going to hell. Yeah, they had a picture. Look at your feet, babies. Yeah. I was like this. Wait, clear it away. Coming through. <laughs> Take the Goldstein mic. Aaron just tw tw uh, texted me a very good point. Go ahead, Aaron. Okay, so if she can put in a tampon by herself, <laughs> like you don't need to be there to put in the right, little Aaron. capsules. If I you just... guys, I mean, okay, so as a lady, I have Aaron, a little bit of insight. I have a little bit of insight into how the whole process uterus scraping thing. Oh yeah, they scrape it out. Works. They scrape the sides. Yeah, they use like a like a what they use on like a griddle. Yes, yes. No, but they use a not... George Foreman grill. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly, but they're, you know, they the couldn't baby. The steamer. Yes. It's uh, like the teeth of life, but not no, for life. No, definitely, okay, first of all, uh, as gr great of all of you guys to be supportive of the decisions that your respective <laughs> girlfriends made. Yes. But, yes. like, Freedom. oh my God. Okay, so I feel like I'm, 
I feel like I'm betraying the female gender I right now. I my boy. Dude, don't, like, <laughs> study up on what abortion is. If you're a man, and then, you, like, because oh, the other way, if you don't know what it is, like, they can tell you lies, like, oh, you have to put this in my vagina. Yeah, like, that's just that's dumb. That's ridiculous. Um, like, don't let them, don't Coach let them fingers, lie to you. I thought, thought I was like, like no red. I thought, yeah, I thought I was like, red Pontius Pilot. You, <laughs> you might have to rub his lotion on it. <laughs> well, whatever, I'm going to have to know yet another no, thing to explain she, to Jesus. Honestly, if she can put a tampon in, she, can she push doesn't the need you to, to do that unless you put yeah. her tampons in the whole time, no. in which case we have a whole bunch of other things no, that we should be talking about. It was, a, it was about. a dark, Sicilian, uh, a Sicilian black magic she was ritual. Like, she was a witch. Do yeah. it, <laughs> do it with like, your tongue. Push it in with your oh, tongue. Oh, <laughs> gross, dude. Do you taste what you did to me? Oh. <laughs> well, you know, man, red light, red light. Honestly, God, I wouldn't, like... I, you, and I, let me ask you this, Aaron, because, you know, they call partial birth abortion, right, which is just a late-term abortion. Right. Because I was always like, uh, you know, I th I thought uh, I thought it's like your baby's deformed or something, you know, mm -hmm. that to be a reason. But I looked up his stats and like most of them are not are not. They're just like somebody was like, I changed my mind, but they did it six months in. Like, yeah, well, that's I think I would not as cool. like, Look, two weeks in or whatever she did. Like, I don't think that's a baby. Well, I, think, I don't. So but, here's here's yeah. the thing about that. Like, the longer that you wait, if you're a woman, the longer you wait to make the decision, the worse it is for you because it's yeah. not a picnic. Agreed. Like, it's not fun, no matter what happens. No like, if you get fun. if you get pregnant, either you do the unfun thing of like. Bearing a child, which even if you want the child, is not like yay, yeah. pushing it out my vagina. You know that's yeah. not fun. Yeah, you don't want to give birth if it's, you know you giving birth to a fucking stillborn. Right. Well, and also yeah. like abortion isn't fun either. Like for anybody. That's the name of my album. Right. <laughs> abortion isn't <laughs> abortion fun. Isn't fun. <laughs> wow, that is like a blatant like again. Pregnancy no, is lose lose. But it's like, but yeah, if you if you're pregnant, like you have a decision to make between something that's like not fun and something that's not fun. And like yeah. the longer you wait to make a decision about whether or not you want to have the baby, the worse it is. Like, it can take women months to be able to, like, have sex again. Like, they yeah, can bleed for a long yeah. time. Like, mm. it's it's like very, you know, anytime you mess around with anything down there. Invasive. No, it, it takes them, be, sometimes it takes them, like, months to have sex. But it, as the dude, you ain't got to wait, though, right? That's your girl. Well, she could get, she could get like, uh, an please, infection are you, wait, if you're so okay on. with you that. Take, wait, Aaron. Let, we need more dude cheering in here, wait, by the way. Y'all niggas <laughs> laughing to yourself. Take it, take this, it. Is, this is fun. This is abortion 101. And this is great. Can let Shake Sharad yes. lecture us again. <laughs> yeah. Let I told Sharad I did actually, <laughs> Listen, I went to listen, I might have had a lot of abortions because I'm gonna fucking nobody's life he was all in college. Yeah. But I went to every one. I never really? yeah. I went to every single yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll let you know Abortion right now. Champ. In, in the lobby, they play in the lobby in, in the lobby they play fucking Father the Bride on loop. <laughs> right. On loop. So you gotta watch that kind of shit while you wait as your kid is, is killed to, like, to like, make you be like, I wanna guilty. have a baby. Yeah, make you feel the mood would change your mind. Um, Did you have a punch card? You get a free I should have after I got a free sandwich. <laughs> after you got Ten. a sandwich. I blimpy them. Uh, <laughs> what if they give you buffalo wings and they're like, This is your boy? <laughs> like, I regret none of them. I regret none of them. Because well, you know what? We were all in college and we was out there. We shouldn't have been fucking like that in the first place and getting. But. It happens. That's going to happen. Well, three times yeah. was high school, by the way. Really? <laughs> That's Damn. right. I got laid in high school, Kurt. I know it's a dream to you. I don't even care. <laughs> you got three that. chicks pregnant yeah. in high school. Huh? You got three chicks pregnant in high school. No, it was one chick. One chick in high school. Three okay. times. Oh. Three times. See, I'm responsible. Sure, I'm just <laughs> letting it off. Huh? Nah, I was Son blowing it off. <laughs> just splash. Right. After I'm me committed, jerking baby. it off my whole life, Dude, I'm like man. this. Let her rip. I can't believe what an abortion monger you turned out to be. I did. I did. <laughs> Listen, I took the advantage of my rights as an American. So, up yours. Don't tread on me, bitch. I guess it was up hers, really. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was great. You know, things happen in life. But, but you know what? The Pope things saying that. Things happen in life that we can't. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. Back. <laughs> Tell me if I'm right or wrong that the Pope saying that. Because was it no, you couldn't get forgiven for abortion? Yeah, I'm okay. uh, as a Catholic. Yeah. Um. So I went to I went to a Catholic college. I went to Notre Dame for school. Oh. Yeah. So I was like, and I was in the church choir. I was in the liturgical choir. So I was like oh. into it. And Is there uh, any outfits that? You, all right, go ahead. Yeah, no. <laughs> No, no, no. Our outfits were like just sweaters that said Notre Dame on them that had like my own puke on them for drinking.
drinking too much. I can still put an abortion yeah. in that. Um, <laughs> you could still wear no pants like Porky Pig. <laughs> I can still get that aborted. Um, so uh, it used to be that, so there's two different kinds of like sins if you're yeah. Catholic. They yeah. like categorize them as like, oh, right. there's like less big sins like and then there's something sin. called a mortal sin. Yeah. yeah. Right. And if you have a mortal sin and they, they have like these weird, it's like I went infield. to Bishop Lachlan. Bishop Lachlan High School Catholic right. School really? in Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah Me, me Giuliani, Mark Jackson. Me. At the same time. You? I graduated with You know Shaq went there too. Shaq who passed away at the comedy cellar. Yeah. 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 I, I graduated Shaq. in 90. I uh, I don't know when I graduated. See? Cause what time did you, when did you graduate? Or 80s. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I was with Mark man. Jackson. Wow. With the Xavier. Yeah. And now both of your old wire hangers are hanging up there now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, like they gilded in the Hall of Fame. I go ahead, finish, Aaron. Uh, but no, but anyway, the Catholic Church has like all these infield fly rule type complicated right. like regulations around sin. So if you have an abortion or if you commit a mortal sin, uh, you have a year to go to confession Snatch and get absolved. The yeah. And then, yeah, exactly. Really? Uh, but with God. And then, if, but if you don't go, then the idea is that you your relationship with God is permanently severed. God's a fucking and lawyer. And you're for sure yeah. going to yeah. hell. He yeah. 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 yeah, it's, it's yeah, so I was like, an altar boy. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty, uh, it's, yeah. it's, pre it's pretty yeah. serious. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you get touched on? Nah, man, you just, I don't get that. Yeah. Those guys, because you knew the father that was touching people, you yeah. just kept it moving. Dude, that's why, <laughs> listen, all the good, yeah, you can, you, can you, you want to have a full way of wrestling mats? <laughs> nah, nah, I got to go pick up my sister. <laughs> and you just out, and then the dude who, who got the lead on the theater, the, the theater pl the play, the he setup. always hung out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's false why setup. you get all the good movies of, like, horror and shit with, uh, it's always like the Catholic Church is, like, yeah. it's a vampire thing, they have a Catholic priest, always. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason is because they're the one that has all that, all like these like they laws with that, loopholes yeah. you can make cool shit out of. Like there ain't gonna be a Jehovah's Witness anything of you know where they gotta fight a mummy or something cool. That's never <laughs> happening. Well, they've also got all these like spooky beliefs because it's yeah. it's like an old kind of religion. So they have like they still believe in like there's yeah, still, like, there's all the well, stuff in yeah, the in the literature. Where it, came from. Yeah. I, it was a secret society before it actually became a national religion. Yeah, where they were they were studying Catholicism in tombs. I got one for you guys. I got four uncles. That were Catholic priests and two aunts that are Catholic nuns. Wow! Wow! And one of my uncles, I used to be fascinated with him because what he, part of Nigeria are they from? Haiti, Haiti, <laughs> Haiti. Haiti. Yeah, yeah. But, but one of them used to perform exorcisms, and I thought that was fucking cool. Dude. Well, the weird part was he did it with his dick. <laughs> hey. Come on now, we got a call. Let's see a caller. Call Want to talk about some? Uh, he's on a pub. Joey, Joey, you there? Yeah, man. Joe. Yeah. Um, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, you falling down a flight of stairs? What's going on? <laughs> hey, I just got to the bottom. All right. Now, first of all, I think the Bible has to be translated. It was written by a man, and as far as abortion, it is a woman's choice. If you force a woman to get uh, birth to a, a, uh, a child through race, that's the worse sin than the abortion itself. And it is evident that God is not against abortion. Every time somebody has a miscarriage, that is God performing the abortion himself. All right, Joey. Oh, so you say I every time a girl, that, dude. every time a woman yeah. has a miscarriage, just God. God dude, I've like, been like, Joe, I've been saying that's doctor. an abortion God gives you. Are you goddamn God right? is amazing. I don't like this kid. Dude, wow. I like this guy, Joe. I would, it would be great to have Joe just doing all women's issues. <laughs> when a woman says no, that means no. <laughs> just don't do that to her. But God's going to rape you. <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah, saying God? Go, Joe, so board. Joey, are you saying that God is carrying out abortions himself? Yeah, that's right. With his rainbow vacuum, Joey. Why would he let a Why would he let a miscarriage have it happen? He's telling that woman something. You're not supposed to have this kid. So he aborts it. Maybe God has small pipes in heaven that only a little baby hand can fit in, like Schindler's List. But dude, even in the, even in the fucking like <laughs> nobody the really. I didn't listen. Trust me, I it's hilarious. <laughs> Sorry, Kurt, with your I statements. Th I was thinking about all those abortions. <laughs> <laughs> Good old abortions. But I think in the Bible you or can date, date, real. Say, mm -hmm. I'm still tripping off that whole statute of limitations. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Sins, yeah. If you know how to reach through the lines, look at all these all the bullshit terrorism that's happened in the Middle East. They have rec rooms. That's how Satan creates evil. That's well, the rape room's an old club. These wait a minute. This guy's really talking oh, about creating evil. Yeah. 
This guy's a, a live wire right here. <laughs> yeah, he's on. You know, he's well, speaking the time. We appreciate really it. Wrong. I, I feel like first of all, it is a fucking abortion. God gives you. That's a good point, right? And really? Then, okay. Yeah. Okay. You stand by that. And what else? Free. That's God's you know, little push down the stairs. Present. That's a get yeah. one free. <laughs> Thanks, God. Yeah. Well, although Joe, Joe, I had a friend. Hold uh, now on. I can go for my master's degree. Dude, I did have a friend <laughs> who used to get knocked up by skaters, and she just drank. So beer. It was also an abortion. Beer gave her. Let's not all. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, skaters. God. What kind of skaters? So God, beer created God created hops. She used no. to date these dirtbag dudes that you know spray paint graffiti and. Oh, like with. skateboarders? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And they would just dump on Sally. And then yeah, she was like, she got pregnant, and then we were like, oh, you better do something soon, man. She was like, and then like, let's a go days, drinking. Yeah, I guess she they solved really, it. <laughs> she just beer. they really pushed and kicked. Huh? It turns out twelve pack is much like uh, Planned Parenthood, so. <laughs> It was fine. <laughs> what, 12 straight bands? She did it the old Ukraine way. Go, go, go. She would chug it? <laughs> yeah. I was crazy. Joe, man. thanks for calling in, man. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. Uh, God bless you. Yo, look at the... Oh, there's a whole code. He's going to shoot somebody. We got, we got, we got one more caller, Nick. We got Nick Joe. from Queens. Hey, what up? What's up, Nick? You want to be the official hey. white boy for the show? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Official white boy with black kids. White boy with black kids. You oh, give those kids it. back. That's a Marvin oh. Gaye situation. <laughs> Before I even get into that, I'm pissed off about the Jehovah Witness. Over here, every time, like on a Sunday, I'll be waking and bacon. <laughs> yeah, and waking bacon. I'll be knocking on my fucking door. Yeah. And you think it's Bob, delivery. You think it's Domino's. I'm watch, yeah, I'm trying to watch the NFL Sunday ticket, and I'm waking and bacon, and then they're bothering me. I'd like to talk to you about the Lord. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> yeah, Kurt. You got to go, wait, you gotta go you to the door naked. Where, where you at, With your dick hard. <laughs> I don't even open my door. I mean, it's pretty, but they're all Spanish where I live. So, where do you live? Yeah, they're, they're all Washington they're Heights. All, they're all Mexican where I live. I'm, I'm in Phoenix. Yeah, so I mean, you just don't. I mean, I don't know. I have a people, so I was like, no, when I just go, I don't know if that, that saves me all trouble. It's pretty easy to get rid of. Well, actually, actually, but you're right. It's time. that and the meter lady who comes to for some reason at eight a.m. to read the meter. We got to deport all the Mexican Jehovah Witnesses, man. Oh, so it's what? the Mexicans making the trouble? Build a wall around your home, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Trump, <laughs> Trump Jehovah <laughs> has just commanded. <laughs> Um, all the fans who want to go listen to it, uh, the show live, too. We got the live stream thing up. Oh, we do? Yeah. Uh, Stand Up New York Labs live stream. Just go yeah. search Stand Up New York Labs live stream, and you can watch it live now on you tizzles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's it. Uh, Tizzle. That's, I only know hip-hop shit from Combat Jack, too. I really Tizzle. do. Thanks, Nick. I hope he saw uh, your Jehovah's Witness thing. You said nothing to him. Because what do you want me to do? Make a call? They're going to keep doing it. Just don't <laughs> is, is, is it you Jehovah don't know or Jehovah? Ain't it like a secret handshake or something you could teach I'm, them to get dude, them off the loop? I'm out. Stay, I'm not allowed to talk to me. In fact, I got the great... You know what? Oh, dude, if you're listening, tell them you just fellowshipped. That's your guess. Oh, yeah, call. tell them you fellowshipped. Tell, no, don't. <laughs> what? Fellowship? Dis, yo, tell them you were disfellowshipped and they'll leave. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. I'm okay. Disfellowship. Yeah, say you disfellowship and leave. All right. Hope Hello? you got that. Is that is that the code? Is that okay. Nick? Hope... Nick, is that you? We hear you. You you having a stroke? Oh, it's cutting out, man. Oh, it's cutting Hello? out. Nick. All right, now all right, it's really gonna up. cut Let's out. Let's just go. Nick. Hung up on him. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wait. I wanted real quick because um, uh, uh <laughs> Allison came down here, Shradi. Yeah. With uh, cause her and Caitlin. So this is Allison. Who came down now? Allison, you know. Allison oh, this is Allison. No, no, I just met her tonight. She's a comic, and okay. then she's friends with Caitlin. Do okay, good. Oh, yeah, she's the naked, the naked, the uh, naked show. That's right. So Michael Shea wrote, po posted something about uh, you know all these comedy specials at home. I don't know what it was—a joke or I'll never be as funny as that. Okay. And I go. You can always go down the naked show, and I don't remember what I say, but uh, then he tags Allison in it. <laughs> And uh, because I fucking hate the whole concept of naked, which I didn't tell her that. Yeah. When she wanted to book me, I was just like, I don't want to get naked, which was a fair enough <laughs> answer, I think. Right. So, but uh, <laughs> but anyway. So Do you know about the naked show? Do, yeah, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I know about it. What and, is the naked show? Okay, it's stand-up it comedy. comedy show. Well, just Caitlin described the naked, or Allison, get on the Caitlin mic if you'd like. Yeah, yeah, double it. on it. Very simple concept. It's stand-up comedy performed. I wouldn't naked. mind saying Allison naked, naked though. Yeah. I know. Me I wouldn't yeah. mind it. What's the point? That's why we charge money. I wouldn't pay for it. Uh, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, come back. Go ahead. What's the fucking point? <laughs> um, I mean, everybody's reasoning for doing it is different. That's true. Um, yeah. Like for me personally, it was just like a huge adrenaline rush. It was a fun challenge. Um, I always say, like for me, comedy is a lot like what I assume a heroin addiction would be because the first time you do it, it's like the greatest high you'll ever have, and then you're just forever chasing that dragon. Right. So, you have never done heroin. When I had, <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> I guess the comedy uh, is not like that. Naked the, is not like heroin. But the first time I did the Naked show was like the closest I felt to like that. 
like first rush. So okay. like that for me, I, I like it. But you know, everybody has different reasons. People have like body issues sometimes, and it's about them like coming to terms with it or just has well. Let me tell you the funny. And it's fun. Okay. This is the, the, oh, now I remember what the thing was. So because I go name one comic you look up to who's gonna do the fucking naked show, and she listed comics who are good comics too. But the first one was Mike Lawrence. <laughs> you know, Mike Lawrence. I'm like that show should be banned for that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mike Lawrence got now his reason was so that science could figure out. What, uh, <laughs> no, is it any? Well, I don't. I just don't. It, it's all they want to fuck you. Sean. Hold on, just tell everybody me, who want to participate want to fuck you. There's the whole reason. There's all fuck you wait, reasons. Let me tell you why I just brought it up because I just want to hear from you guys. Yeah. Because to me, this is the whitest fucking idea in the world. So that's peak. Carl and this is, and yeah. this is like only, this is just, because me talking about the bullshit of getting naked, I've done it a million times. But honest to God, it's just the whitest horseshit. Am I, I mean, right or wrong? listen, I always want to support stand-up comedians in all facets. Yeah. But I just think that uh, being butt naked, just like wearing an emblem on your shirt or some shit, takes away from the, it takes away too much from your shit. It's so ironic. Right. Well, it's we, like just don't. Uh, well, listen, well, it's not but, the only way I perform. Like I do plenty of stand up with clothes on. Do you do I don't want to see that. <laughs> do you do podcast naked? <laughs> Does she do podcast naked? No. No. Why? What would be the point of? Oh, it? you hear? You, uh, yeah. Uh, can you hear it? No. <laughs> <laughs> we still have the cameras. That we <laughs> have, oh, just have a wall full of cameras <laughs> pointing at you. did an episode naked. I think <laughs> they did. Yeah, they did. They did. With Big J and them were naked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my they God, said it was Jesus a bonding. And they always want to get oh, Dude, Jay, oh my God. That's just white Jay, boy shit. Yeah. But that is, you're right. And uh, but Jay is one of the masters of white boy gay too far. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's one of the masters of that. Yeah. Oh, has a hotel room one time. This is the kind of shit he would do. Because you know we'd have to share a room, so I'd, yeah. feel, I'd be on the bed, and Jay would come skipping out. He'd get the smallest washcloth. <laughs> 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 he would just hold it over his little dick and just comes <laughs> skipping out of <laughs> what the fuck man? he looked like the Bugs Bunny Viking lady's horse <laughs> with the little feet he would pirouette out and just like oh excuse me <laughs> oh good god but yeah but uh so uh but his why don't I even bring it up you just oh, got lost in Big his, Jay's uh, cock. I, you know, I thought of Big Jay's sweet little pig, <laughs> and I just thought, forgot everything. Then that's my point. How we'll get back, let's comedy? get back. Let's get back to these name of comics that's great comics that they listed. Yeah, who's the great? Was was Tell me again. It was it was Mike Lawrence, Joe. Mike List. Lawrence. He's, okay. Mike Lawrence. I mean, jo jo Mike Lawrence did the one at the Creek recently, but like people who have done naked comedy in the past that I know of, Mike Kaplan, Joe List. Um, I mean, Harris Whittles did it whenever ago. I didn't know him. Who else? You said Tig. Who else? I don't know. Tig. Well, she did her. Uh, she went topless for on her special. Um, Tig, the, les oh, the lesbian. She chick. didn't do your show though. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, she won't. Well, Aragon, by the way, Eric right. Andre's <laughs> done the naked show like a bunch of times. Well, he of does, every, he does everything Ooh. naked. Ooh. He's <laughs> a one man naked show. <laughs> yeah, he's, Eric Andre, uh, he does everything well, naked. He only wears. I'm trying to hear like the name of motherfuckers who don't like, don't don't get naked. Well, I but think, I go like this. Think, what a great I comic! Mean, I think I miscommunicated. I meant like comics I would look up to. Okay. Thank you. But also, they all did it like when they're like new. Because first of all, people always want stage time. There's a show in New York comedy club where they fucking it's like a dominatrix yeah, yeah so pain, pain, drip, or pain or paid yeah and they drip wax on you if you're not like if you don't if you don't if you're not funny shit i don't know let's have just the jokes the jokes what happens just have a great but that's, listen, uh, that's all. It's not even a folks on naked show. Dominatrix, like stage they, time they won the, uh, the the comedy in the dark thing. That is Lewis. Was, that's that dumb Lewis's yeah, show. Was, I was like, why would you do that? It's gonna be interesting because <laughs> <laughs> from out of the darkness, you will just hear me, Lewis J. Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's really oh my god. All right, what's all the gimmicks? Just it's, put a mic just on funny. and just do some jokes. Just be funny. What if the, let's just say if the naked show wasn't naked one week, everybody had on clothes. It would show. it be a great show? I mean, I think it would still be a great show. Like, I don't think enough. I mean, we no. also run a show the second Saturday of every month called "I'm Fine," probably, which is a clothed show, and the naked show only happens four times a year. So, I mean, yeah, it's a rare thing. It's a special thing, but it's, I mean, it's not, not a thing, you know. It's no, I know. No, it's listen, a thing. that's your thing, yeah. and I, I support yeah. it because it's your thing. Yeah, it's a thing. But I'm just saying, for the joke, for your jokes, I'm just thinking about your jokes. Sure, let and your I do jokes, jokes be naked. Clothed Get your jokes and butt naked. naked. But under, yeah. all right, look, yeah. that's my whole argument was. She said it's a more 
vulnerable way to do comedy. Remember yeah. this? It's like jumping so out of an airplane. Not, it's not more vulnerable. So is hunting a fucking lion and doing bits. What's like the greatest fear? Like being naked in front of people. It is vulnerable. No, that's not my greatest fear. It's not the way that you want. A lot of people's greatest fear. Can you, yeah. I'm an orgy. I'm the king of the orgies. It's like my living fucking weekends. The nightmare. My greatest fear is the police. I, yes. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Being naked in front of the police. This is. Tell me if this is not a <laughs> fact. Tell me if I'm wrong right now. And Aaron also tell me. Uh, d listen. There's no scenario, okay, where you get naked in front of men that is ever empowering, ever, except where they have to stuff dollars in your pants. That is the only empowering I that, nudity. I, I did for, that, that for that twelve all. years, yeah, with, and that shows, was and comedy. It, comedy is more. You're getting underpaid, really. If you comedy is more it. more uh, intimate than stripping ever was for me. I stripped yeah. for twelve years. Mm -hmm. It, and and comedy was more and that was butt naked too, dick and uh, everything, slapping dicks dick, yeah, yeah, on girls' heads. I beefed up and tied oh, Dante, up the whole right. shit. Yeah. Dante yeah. has the best. Did you yeah. almost get like raped by a mob? Of, yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Fucking, I got into fight, naked fights. Tell the story. Now naked fighting. That's the move. <laughs> well, I want to see naked fights. Well, man. meet my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I I was doing a show in the Bronx and the and uh the, I was. The, like I was handing out my business cards. I was right. in a G. Was handing out what a was your stripper name? A G string. I was Prince Mandingo. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, you were. <laughs> the original. What color was the uh, G string? Uh, it was probably zebra. <laughs> zebra. Probably a zebra. Exotic. Exactly. Okay. With, uh, yeah. And, Sexy uh, boy, and I was I was handing out cards, and these the chicks were like grabbing my cards, and they started grabbing my, and they like pinned me <laughs> to the. And he was like, stay. oh, girls, no, stop. No, like, I was, I was, I, I was it, like, Dante. I'm a big dude, and I was like, I could get up, right? right? And then I went to get up, and you couldn't. And I couldn't get up. And I was like, oh, shit. So then I, like, tried to manly stand up, right. and I could It was just so many of them that <laughs> right. I could, And I, they That's had the best bring way to bouncers die. to fucking get me out. And they was grabbing all on you? They were grabbing, they were violating Yo, me. Yo, did, oh, did you fight God. somebody naked, though? Yeah, you I fought, yeah, I fought a lot of dudes naked. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. It sounds like <laughs> if I got my jeep, because it, it, it sounds just, like dating. It don't sound like a fight. No, that's <laughs> adrenaline. Oh, a bunch yeah. of dudes. You actually nah. sound really empowered by that. You <laughs> sound empowered by I the, like the act naked of fighting. Well, I mean, you. What happened was like you would do stripping in the hood, and uh, like I tell you where we is at, that a place? Uh, Bushwick and Gates. <laughs> I know it. Masonic Temple. Yes. So the dudes was at the in the balcony. They would like so. Usually they you were have, stripping in the Masonic Temple on the Bushwick and Gates. Yes, you deserve the ass whooping you got. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I gave the ass whooping. I gave the ass whooping. Well, it's, it's a holy I, place. So yeah, it's a Masonic <laughs> what Temple. Were they throwing ice cubes at your dick? They were spilling. They were so so. We like there was a time where you would have always have a female stripper and a male stripper. Right, right. At every party, because the, that's the law. That, well, that was at, in the nineties. That was the law. Because the school board said you exactly. gotta have equal fucking for all girls yeah. and boys. So okay. what they would do is they had a balcony. They would send the guys up in the balcony, have right. the girls, and then they would bring and the girl it. and then switch it. Okay. So the girl went up. You always put the girl on first because the guys are fucking maniacs. And then they were on the t on the, in the balcony and they would. Dumping beer on me, like uh, from the balcony, hating on you when it's right. your turn to dance. Yeah. So I, I, I was trying that. to tarnish that <laughs> I, you know, zebra I was G string. Right, so I was like, cut the music off. I was like, the next motherfucker to spill some beer, I'm gonna bust the motherfucker in the face. And they, and they, because they were, they were spilling beer. And, and you said this in a leopard fucking G string. Yeah, yeah. So you know the beer showered down. No, after no. That. What happened was the beer was already showering, and they were chanting "Go homo, go homo, go, <laughs> go, go homo, go homo, go, go homo, go, 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 go. So it's a great oh, American <laughs> chant. Here's, here's, here's what's funny, you know. Jack, you know who was, who was spinning? King Capri. King Capri. No, he was spinning. It wasn't Mr. C. Yeah, no, it wasn't Mr. C. He was at the lab. So, <laughs> King Capri, bump. and then I was, was like, good. yo, uh, yo, next motherfucker to spill some beer, I'm fucking, I'm fucking him up. And they, uh, the motherfuckers started coming down the stairs. You know how to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So they yeah. came oh the stairs. Like so Scarface. when I met them, so as they were coming down, I met them at the staircase and was tossing them over, my, over and punching them. And f so they was like, the fucking naked dude is fucking going crazy with the zebra. Wow. The zebra. Ah. Mandingo. Ah. Wow. They, you know, they, naturally they thought, you know, Bed Stuy was, it was like, yeah. yo, this dude strips, Mandingo. He's a, he's a fuck, he's gay. <laughs> like, you're a punk. Right. But so they don't expect, but I should just pop off first. But if the gay guy's in tremendous shape, don't you take that into account? No, you know, no, 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 you no, 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 you don't. You hood, and right. first of all, so it's always a bad idea to have a um, guy and God, girl strip. You bad. can't mix that. Because yeah. dudes always going to be like this. Fuck this hit, naked fuck dude. This, right, right. Faggot ass nigga. That's right. all. They always exactly. going to say. Yeah. Nobody's going to be like this. You tore it up out there, man. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no. Girls was really digging you, man. My nigga, my he nigga. Good dick. You he was very vulnerable. My nigga, you killed him, son. Hey. Well, here's a, but there was there was dudes that would go. There was dudes that would hire me for their wives' birthdays and shit like right. that. And then their wife would fuck the shit out of them after the show. Right. Like they, I would heat up the whole tintillating. Yeah, so, you join some couples too. Don't try to act like you yeah, didn't I mean, smash uh, a wife. Yeah, while the husband well, sat in the corner in the shadowy corner. Uh, you know, <laughs> striped fucked, mandingo. I might have, I'm, I'm, I might have fucked a uh, a a bride to be and a mother in law. Now, uh, when you went to the house and you got butt naked in front of the and the husband's over there and the wife was over there, the husband you, would never be he there. He wouldn't be there. Okay, he that's the wife. Yeah, you butt naked. Yeah. Did you do five minutes of comedy first? No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do. Comedy Hear that, then. Caitlin? <laughs> Not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I thought about. It. I was like, this I mean, would be really. Can I tell you what I just realized? It, we just got our uh, fag song. You know how we have our our the official, nigga song. Yeah. That now we have the song. We're gonna go get homo. the Ninja Turtle song. Okay. Go homo. Go home and have tell Sarah John <laughs> fag again. That's okay. gonna be the fag You're song. You're welcome. Okay. Go yeah. homo. Go homo. Go. Yeah, dude. Uh, and welcome. that'll be the ceremony. And then we'll have go to Gay man. Tommy Dante. Put his dick on your shoulder. We get the public. Yeah. Well, I feel like there should be a spreading of dicks. So. Uh, to, on my shoulder. Let's get into some news. To play a devil's oh, advocate here, though, yeah. about being Aaron. naked and it being like possibly not okay. sexual. In so, like, remember when you were a kid and how being naked was awesome yes. and there was like nothing sexy about yeah. it? Yeah, I was like, humping. I, I was think humping that, early. I think that it'd be really cool if there was a way as an adult to have that happen too. And I think that the only way sure. for that to even be a possibility is for people to actually do that. But in like non-sexual a, circumstances, a, a nude, a a nude, nude beach, comedy. nude beach. You go to yeah. Florida, yeah. Florida just play vodka. Yeah, right. right. But that's, that's like right. one. That's one Swingers context. Club. That's one way to expose people to like non-sexual nudity. Okay, non-sexual. It's like, well, Aaron, I'm gonna be honest with you. If I'm butt naked with you and you in a room, I'm gonna try to fuck you, Aaron. <laughs> I would. I would, oh, I would agree with that. that. Let's make I mean, it depends on like context. Even if you got clothes on, I'm trying to fuck you now. Even clothes, fully clothed today. I'm gonna still try. Wait a minute. Let's make a baby. Yeah. Well, listen. The point is. What you're saying on a news colony, that's true, but uh, just look, there's no one hour and a half show. You know, like, if you're a news colony, you're living that shit every day. Right, right. And it right. would get like it that. It becomes non And so, because you did a show at a nudist colony, right? Yes. So that's a different thing. But one at the Creek in the Cave once a month. You're going to Listen, look at puss. Yeah, I know it's Kaylin never goes, in because how Caitlin put it, she goes, there's a lot of, uh, if you want to see sexy ladies doing sexy things, there's other things. No, I want to see your pussy. I don't care what you're doing. <laughs> I'm telling There's you, no I mean, way. none of you guys have been to the show, so you're speaking. You know what? Like, you're right. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, so like, you're right. are you getting offended? We got, we got people here who have been though, to the Caitlin. fucking show like who can tell you that they get Barry, over whatever the titillating Barry, sexiness are, are you is offended? Uh, no, real I'm early. I'm, I'm sensing tension now. Stop. Yeah, it's just like it's just like we're fucking tired. Caitlin, of listen, I'm. It's like we don't give a shit if you guys like it or support it. That's that's what I appreciate. I appreciate that. I respect. I'll come see it tonight. I respect your guys as a decision to not want to see it. I definitely want to see it. But Caitlyn's like a sister to me. Wait, 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 wait. And then I, I don't want to be. I don't want to see it. I don't want to be. I want to see it. Caitlyn's not a sister to me. I don't want to be up there staring at her cooch because that's what I'm gonna do. Because that's who I am. And trying to be like this. Oh, the subway joke was great. The one you said. I ain't gonna listen to that. I'm gonna be staring at Caitlyn's cooch. You'd be staring at the cooch. Oh yeah, it's really I'd be staring at the ass. I don't think it's a thing. But she's gonna be facing me. I can't reach around. I'm going. I'm going behind the stage. It's not like guys don't try to fuck us with our clothes on. So right. Yeah, I can't promise you that if I come. There's some tension. Can we? But at least I they mean, hear something yeah. that they <laughs> hear some of the things you say. The when opening close joke on. of the roast battle last night was about my tits and I was fully fucking clothed. So it's not like people are not looking at our bodies <laughs> when we're same. fully clothed. Yeah. Taking the clothes off is kind of like 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 what? Like fuck you. Like this is it's out there. Yeah. And so uh, fuck me. Listen, I understand. And like after the first six <laughs> seconds, you've seen what you're gonna see, and yeah. maybe you can focus, and maybe you can't, yeah. and maybe that's on you. probably after the six first six seconds. Enough of the audience can focus. The jokes work. After the first six seconds, I can concentrate. Because I came twice. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when I did, oh, there's, there's a truth when I did last comic standing, and because uh, Eliza's fleshing her kid, I still to oh, this yeah. day don't know if she's funny or not. She's hilarious. <laughs> because I, I can't focus on she's it. Dude, she wore a dress I could see vagina through. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. Oh, that's hilarious. And I'm telling you, like, like there's just, you can't, like, I'm just not, I can't even focus on it. I, gr- I, I see. Maybe some people can, but Sounds I Sounds like I a can. personal problem. I mean, enough yeah, people can yeah. 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 oh, hey. hey. It's called a heterosexuality. Damn, she yeah. calls you a bitch. It's a goddamn motherfucker. Men have been like allowed is that what to she focus on me? that. <laughs> Men have been like allowed to just be like, I can't think boobies, but it's like, come on, you're smarter. No, than No, I that. can think. I want to suck your boobies. I'm thinking I want to <laughs> suck them shits. <laughs> it's no, not the I thought mean, process. Like, just I'm like, 
saying she's not that good. Just All right, adv- let's go. Advance yourself, you know? <laughs> advance ourselves as, uh, as a speed as men? Concentrate. Yeah, or you can do it. So what? what listen, advancing yourself yeah, is to be that. attracted do to you. women. That's what you're right? supposed it's to do. to move beyond being an animal. Yeah, you can still. I'm not attacking her. I'm still, still liking what I'm seeing. Sure. An uh, animal, animal would be like this golden biter. You can choose to think about a different thing. Yeah, being up inside those guts. Yeah, or not. Either way, it's not going to impact. Hey, guys, I want to come see you guys. You know, I'm not. Don't. Don't be Where's, mad. Um, I'm not Shit, mad. Is not Allison's mad. a little steamed, though. Allison's getting a little steamed. Why are you guys mad? I'm not mad. Why are you mad? Why are you mad, son? Isn't that the worst shit when you're not mad and someone's like, why are you mad? No, they mad. They got a little steamed. I'm just fucking with you. I'm mad that I have to like hover over a microphone. Oh, yeah, we should have a separate. Like Anything you're interpreting is just awkwardness of me having to like. My bad. Sorry about that. Allison seems like a nice girl. Caitlin selfishly took the whole seat and didn't offer any to Allison. That's how women are to each other. Definitely women comics. Does her thing, you chair not fit over there? Oh, I wish Godfrey was here. He's supposed to be asses. laying out our our new guy. He'll be here uh, though when he yeah. is. Where well, we're gonna, gonna have him? a we're gonna um, <laughs> we're gonna f- move you guys to the naked section, which is over here by the cameras, and we're gonna have uh, <laughs> and then we'll and then uh, as remember when Norm was here. <laughs> Maybe we should do a race wars uh, naked show. Naked edition. Let's stop being oh. you know, talking about it and be about it. Yeah, we don't get naked, up, but dude. we let these girls come and do their thing. Yeah, I'll bring the. The what? Liquor and stuff. <laughs> no, let's let them do a show. Um, and let's see who concentrates on. It. Let's tape it. <laughs> and let's see who's listening to the jokes. No, wait. We wait, this. Hold what on, was dude. the punchline? Because you guys That's reminded me of another thing that is pretty funny to me about. Um, God damn, he's not in the system, dude. Make sure you get a but shot of the girls, too. Because I want the fans on Twitter to let us know if they would come to the naked show. Uh, Tickets with, uh, are available. With Caitlin and Allison. October 9th. Wait, who's James? No, we're going to have to do our own show. Because we're going to have to get the door for that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't letting another pimp, I mean promoter, <laughs> um, <laughs> move well, in uh, on my action. Hold on. I gotta find what name he needs. Uh, do you know have Godfrey's last name anymore? Dimension. Yeah, Dunchima. Cambridge. It's Dimension. It's Dunchima. Godfrey Dunchima. I might pronounce it wrong. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Brother. From right. Africa, brother. Because we got <laughs> we haven't even side. spoken My to Jason. My people's. I know the pronunciations. Call the kente. Say it three times fast. Uh, yeah, he's in the lobby. He's going to come. Oh, God, Godfrey's downstairs. Yeah, he okay, brought perfect. Jason Statham with him. <laughs> yes, sir. That's perfect. Yeah, Jason Statham. I've been dying time. to have Jason Statham You know, that's his girlfriend this. in uh, Fury Road. The pregnant one. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah, the pregnant girl in Fury Road who got ran over by the big times. Oh. That's Jason Statham's girl. Wow. See, you don't know nothing about nothing. I don't, man. Um, no, who's the girl that did the show of all rape jokes that are, uh, and, and you know her? Or do you know who I'm talking about? She's she was Vice? called your prosecutor, Kurt. Uh, <laughs> I know of her, but I don't. I can't recall her I name I can't right remember now. her name, too, but the article. This is the thing that bugs me. So this is a good thing for Aaron. Or also both of them to weigh in on. Um, she goes, well, we're still trained. Men are still trained to look at a woman's body before her brains. That's the only thing that you see I, first. But did you hear that? Like train. First of all, how would I ever Men see your brain? A eh? secondly, split a skull open. Like you. But but why does people think that's <laughs> training? Like, is that like a thing that commonly? Is that like a feminist idea that like you're trained to like look at women in a sexual way all the time and not well, a thing you just do? Or? As the uh, as the official spokesperson for all. Why well, getting the daily dot? Uh, <laughs> I, lo- I no, love. No, I, I think I think yeah, that a lot of people it. that that call themselves feminists would have different opinions about this, but. But speaking for myself, I think that in a lot of cases, um, men are encouraged to objectify women. Yeah, not. I'm sorry. not I'm I mean, sorry. I'm not. I'm not saying that it's like not natural to like find right. beautiful people sexy. That's what we're biological animals. You find Absolutely. things you want to fuck sexy, but it's. Uh, I think that maybe culture encourages right. men. To oh, maybe definitely. do it more than they would definitely. naturally. I don't, I don't, I don't think that. I don't well, think it's culture at all. I think it's it's, wait, it's, it's biological. It's one hundred percent biological. It's biological, but also like women feel that too. But if you look at like the way that women, I mean, if we're just going to talk like just in, in one example, like if you look in pop culture on TV and movies or whatever, like a lot of times women aren't honestly depicted as fully as sexual as they are. Yeah, that's like true. That, that and, is true. And that's, that's true. like a okay. true... And, and men are depicted maybe as more sexual than they are. I hear And you. that's something that's, I think, Studs kind of... and sluts, basically. Yeah, TV is yeah, extreme, exactly. though. They, I, they but, either, I, yeah. but I think that that's like... That's kind of the... You know, if, if a historian was looking back, like, what were the 50s like? They would look at TV shows. And that's what people in the future will look back at now. They'll be like, what was culture? What was society? And they'll look back at TV and advertising and music. And if you look at those things, it's a really cartoonish 
a non-accurate depiction sure, for sure, men sure. and but for I mean, women. If you, look at, if you look at the, four, <laughs> the 50s, if you look at the 50s and those kind of sex roles, you, 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 those, those sex roles are absurd in, in, in a sense. But I mean, at, sure, at, at but versa. if you're like a reasonable person, but I think if, like, yeah, if you're a reasonable person, but I think that there's, there's more going on. Like, oh, sure, and, sure. and I think that like, it's, I think it's totally fair to say that society influences the way that you behave. Yes. Oh, yeah, and yeah, that yeah, I think yeah, that it's yeah. fair to say that society encourages men to be more sexual than they yes. maybe feel yeah. comfortable being all yeah. the time well, and I women to be less sexual. I don't, I don't, well, I, I think it's just the opposite. I think the feminist movement is telling men to not be that and they're pussy I don't get that. I don't get that. that you don't think that they're trying I, to pussy what, what I get from the feminist with, movement is it's actually encouraging women to embrace their sexuality. sexuality. I think it's also yeah. like, and this is going to be like a weird flip side to that. I think that it, I the femi feminist. Like, feminist movement is also <laughs> sort of, there's, there's kind of an ignoring of women that maybe choose not to be sexual, like, and men. Like so, it's just well, kind of this... if you're that if you're asexual, that's the worst orientation to be because no one believes you. Well, They're I don't like, mean like asexual. I just mean like less <laughs> sexual. There's well, not it... like you're not viewed as like fully empowered. Well, no, that's you're... why they made that pill. They made that new pill. Right. It's like you're to not fucking women want you. Yeah. But it's wrong not. With you. It's to make you like feel. It's not. I'm it's so not to help horny, you. Horny, Billy. No, but it's not. It's not for your horny, but your shit doesn't work. It's right. fucking to make your brain want to fuck. Your brain want to fuck. Which is like a again. I guess that's the what we've been looking for for. Just about watch the like Tom Hardy movies. That's what will make yeah, your brain you, want to fuck. But you have every every situation right now is telling men that they're they're over sexual and they should be they should not objectify women. They should not find women attractive. They should look at like this is every. Well, there's a difference between objectifying and finding someone attractive. To objectify someone is to reduce them entirely to their use to you as a sex object. That's objectifying. Well, I don't, I don't but to like find happens. them attractive is like something more. It's more than that. It's but to be like, have, oh, hey, look have, at this you person. Have the, you have the feminazis that take any time you go Yo, while love, you're attractive. I love feminazis. You're, 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 you're oh, attractive. Take me. Anytime you're attractive, that this is there's something wrong with that. So but, are you guys the Jews in this but, analogy? Well, or well, well, the, well, the biologic. There's these bio. You have these bio. I'm I'm a big proponent of the biological urges. The fact that. Our attraction and mating intelligence is actually in the D in our DNA. Mm -hmm. It's part of our DNA. It is the single most important I totally drive yep. is for us to 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 procreate, and that is that that's in our DA, DNA for hundred. Like we've survived as a species for hundreds of thousands of years because, because of our that sex is drive. that is in our DNA to do that. Even when yeah. it means overriding our wait, wait. our our self preservation. Yeah. Dante, no, wait, this is what, because this is, a, this is a, I should, I should have thought of this. I should have thought of having you guys, because Dante, like, it's not that you teach men how to get women. You actually teach a class of how to, like, deal with your relationship. Yeah, yes, I tell you yes. how to manage and, uh, a bitch. I yeah, you it's how to really, bitch. Dante is a pimp. <laughs> yeah. But he teaches you how to pimp. Well, hold on. Because the thing of the, was great. the people being encouraged to do shit, they aren't. That's, there's like right. two different things. Because Dante is a real deal. There's nothing where Dante was told to do something. Like, he does what he, Dante does. But there is like a kind of dude that's like in Hardy Vodka I got a fast car behind like they have yeah. to have a picture with like a girl that's a right. you know dudes like that right? douches douchebags yeah they're douchebags a lot of douchebags and, douche and, and they might not even be like that and they are definitely like part of a group and being encouraged to go that way but my thing is like that's stupid people are just gonna be do what like me for me the media is like I get it we have to worry about stupid people with the but media. she's saying the, the media encourages a lot of men to be stupid but I like I and it, it accepts it I think it, it like yeah. I, it offers it as like an acceptable way to be yeah and it offers it, okay. like and, and, it, and it also like offers this like version of like womanhood that's also sort of gross well like yeah. no for sure show me your but also well. keep in mind keep in mind that especially from writing for shit a lot of that is all hack writing mm. because you got some if you see a writer's room what these dudes look like. They're all married to a wife too hot that they probably have to beg to fuck him. And it's it's like, that's the... And you know who she really that's fucking, who's right? right? They're like, yeah, he goes home to his hot wife and she's mad about the laundry. <laughs> They're all fucking... Uh, I mean, if yeah. you... Wait, wait, but if listen, you... listen, wait. This is what I'm trying to say. The, uh, <laughs> the thing about... Um, Fuck, I just fucking blanked out. <laughs> Let Dante say his point. If you, if you, if you, there are things like when you'll say, people will say women are, there's some women that want to dominate the situation. That's bullshit. No woman wants to dominate. They want a guy who's strong, who, who they feel strong about. 
that they can still interject. The difference is if the guy is credible enough, they will relin- every woman woman mm-hmm. will relinquish the control if the guy is credible enough to do so. Oh, I yeah, think that you sounds can like make science, that bigger. Definitely. You can make that bigger. It's not just about a guy. It's about like for me, it's about like bosses. Like I am a terrible employee if I don't have faith in my boss. You're a fucking boss. The minute sure, you walk sure. in the but room, I mean, but I, I was like, no, that's but a like, fucking but boss. I won't. Like here's the thing. Like <laughs> I, I think boss, that like dude. I think that there are certain women that are looking for partnerships where they're with somebody that can kind of lead and then I think that there are certain women that aren't looking for that and I think you're absolutely right if there are women that are looking for a partner that can sort of take the lead which is fine but I don't think it's fair to say that all well, women I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna like say all people are different it's that's not true that is that's the dumbest thing I've heard all well, people, people are different, different. well yeah uh, we are 60, we, we are yes we all are the same pretty much 60 percent 60 percent of our DNA is in a fucking banana 99 percent of our of our DNA is in a chimpanzee banana, I didn't have a tissue. <laughs> it's a, it's, when you go, Animal. When, when you, this is why we have behavioral psychology is because people do things in patterns. That's why we study it. When you yeah. talk about, when you talk, all, when, when you go to open heart surgery, you cut somebody up. Nobody goes, how many hearts is in this motherfucker? It is a study because we all are the same. Hold on, no, we God, do God, the same God, shit. But, but look, it, but there is a difference in. Because, you know, you know, all these fights we get now with this transgendered shit, right? Of right. like, you, did you say it's a woman? And just as good as a woman who had a regular pussy, <laughs> say it right now and look like you believe it. Right? <laughs> so, so, to me, the nonsense of that, because we had, when we saw Taylor Negron, who was so goddamn good. God bless his soul. But he used to say, like, about being gay or straight, it's like, it's not, do you like salt? It's like, how much salt? Exactly. I, I, it's a degree. I, don't, I believe in a spectrum. It's a degree. And even now with the gender shit, like, I don't even think there's just two gender. I think some people are like, I know dudes that are women. And I know oh, chicks that have a dick. Sure, sure. Her yeah. I'm a woman. You are what you eat, right? <laughs> but, but, <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. So I am a pussy. Um, man. <laughs> but, I, yeah, but, but like that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, oh, you're I'm toes. an asshole. <laughs> you're I'm toes. Toes. I'm toes too. I'm such an asshole. I'm but, an asshole. Listen, I'm an asshole too. <laughs> you're an asshole. <laughs> all that shit. All that shit. Where we get there's a I'm fight shit, now. Dude. I'm shit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? There's a fight that you're in trouble because you, God forbid, don't like to me it's like instead of trying to cram these that the, you're not the same as a regular woman but you're no, close right. to it I'll call you a woman yeah Caitlyn right. Jenner is not the, a but woman like my mother's another, a woman there right. she's a woman group, right. listen there should be a, like three more classifications that are not just regular ones sure. and everybody tries to cram you into these two things right. and, no, and no, let's not call them regular ones I think that's actually either. something that people that are like trans activists are fighting for well, you know is what? that the problem like is more ways to identify because it and more... we can't do it because all our buildings would just be mostly, mostly bathrooms so that's why <laughs> Yeah, you can't have to do it. 19 <laughs> bathrooms on each floor. Well, you know who's here to talk about it. Oh, and this is the other thing, Aaron. You know when they get those, those, those Carl Jr. commercials? That's the way I always, would always see in feminine blogs. Like, this time, Carl Jr. had another model eating a burger. Because uh-huh. I hate those commercials. I'm more offended by the factory farming that made the burger <laughs> and then that's, the fucking no, no, model. That's a great, but, but I jerk off to all of it. As, a, as an example of ob- <laughs> objectifying women, the reason I resent those commercials is I'm like, you think I give a shit if I saw tits about a burger? Like, I'm thinking about a burger. I don't, you, tits aren't selling a burger to me. <laughs> well, like I, I wouldn't mind seeing it. But, but the, but it also, got my attention. Look, I don't see the harm of... Milk? It's like the, 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 a model. <laughs> I, like, there's no way I'm going to look at a model, f- like uh, doing her job for her brain. Her whole job is to be there as an object for a gay guy to hang clothes on. <laughs> That's your job. But you still got to be good at that. If you got paid, to you got to be good at that. Yes. So there's a lot of hot bitches who sure. can't model clothes. But th- but you know how like lots of girls think they want to be models. There's a thing about that's a professional object being a model. You're a professional object. Yeah. And if you're getting paid right, then there's nothing wrong with it. You're right. getting paid to do your job, and so do it. But get ready for the flip side of that fucking opportunity. Right. Because you're going to get fucking... Your self-esteem well, is going to be athlete. shit. No, you're an athlete. It's going to be based on other people's shit. Yeah, just it's like a, being an athlete. It's an athlete. Yeah. And by the way, all the beauty a treatments... A commodity. Do you know all the beauty treatments? Shadow. All the shit that athletes use, like hyperbaric chambers and all that shit, oh, yeah. those were Hollywood rich lady things shit. to make them look younger. Yeah. Because athletes and hot chicks are the same fucking thing. Yeah, yeah that LeBron. Yeah, I mean, that's like when you're, when you're banking totally on yeah. something that's like inevitably going to go away, then you're just setting yourself up to have a terrible... You can do to let make it last.
crap. Yeah, well, right, but also, like, it's inevitable. Yeah. It's going to oh, go sure. away. Sure. Yeah. Like, even if you do everything you can do. You still got the dismount coming. Even okay. if you're Jane Fonda, she's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. But she's definitely not... No, she was she's, smart, though. You know, she you know saved her mean? money and shit, and she yeah, did, right. she did she's, work. But, but I'm I would still fuck her, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, she's, yeah, I mean, she's maybe a bad example, but everybody ages. Everybody ages out everybody. of their athletic ability. I, everybody yes. ages out of Michael their Jordan can't. Michael Jordan ain't Michael Jordan in 85, nigga. He an old man. I see Michael Jordan. He look like he's a thousand years old. He only like 50-something. He no, like a thousand. Yeah, they, that fucks it. Dude, it's like a force of a garbage. The, the From where they jump and land, it's yeah. like a garbage yeah. truck landing on their knees. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, we, let's do the break because we got Jason We're going to do a quick break. Yeah. We got Jason Statham uh, coming in. <laughs> uh, this is a great show. Race Wars. We'll be right back. Yeah. We will be back with more Race Wars in a minute. Stay there. Guess we can. Oh yeah, so because I that's I, that Travis Scott antidote, brand new. Check that it shit out. Is hot. We pumped that real music on here, man. New, new hot shit. Hot fire. Dude, fire. Shirati, I can't even think of a better way. Cause where's Evan at? Okay. I can't even think of a better way to bring in Jason Statham. Okay, yeah. Jason's here? Well, because, yeah. I love this girlfriend in a Fury Road. She played the pregnant girl. Um, in Fury Road. The God, Mad Max. I hope Godfrey helped Jason's uh, earphones. Yeah, God- Godfrey's, <laughs> friend. Godfrey's friends with Jason Statham. Right. He, knows, you know, yeah. he knows these people. Jason. <laughs> is he, is he on my dope or dope? <laughs> Hold on. What have you done? Wait, wait. Cause doctor. Oh, no. oh God. No. 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 This is my favorite show. <laughs> Dr. Cosby. I want to come back. I'm raping a bitch right now. No. Oh, no. Uh, you got the raping. And the... I can't stop raping. <laughs> doctor, we don't know what What happened to here. Jason Statham? Oh, what have you done to him? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here in Race Wars. Yeah. I like this. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> so, nice. Big, thank you, Mr. Statham. Yeah. Can What's I? Up? Can I lay the? Uh, so let me just lay the story out. Okay? okay. So this is Evan. Evan, what's your last name? Jones. Okay. So Evan, get on the Evan. Uh, yeah, Andrew let's Goldstein Evan, get, mic. Let him get on a Goldstein the Goldstein commemorative Goldstein mic. Commemorative microphone, please. Uh, yeah. So uh, Evan, so just. Okay. Just tell me that. So Evan got in some Twitter battle, okay? Okay. We yeah. won't even say her name, but she's a dipshit. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, you were explaining this to me. What happened? I got, I got oh drawn my. into it, which is hilarious because he he sent me a message on my dumb Facebook that okay. I gotta stay off of in the future. Yeah, and, my bad. And he goes, Yeah, I'm getting. I made, put this one tweet, and then all these people, like a million crazy people, are jumping on me for it. Right. And, I, and I'm like, Well, just ignore them, dude. They just go away. They do. And then, yeah. but then I got curious. I'm like, well, What did you actually tweet? So tell them what the tweet. Is, dude? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm going to be paraphrasing a little bit, but it's yeah. basically um, I, all my ex girlfriends have been bisexual, but I've never had a threesome. Life is cruel sometimes. Yeah, the most. That's the tweet? Yeah. I mean, and then what happened? Mean, that's a good tweet, man. It's pretty oh, nerd. Thank you. Thank yeah, I, mean, so I had, I had threesomes with two of his ex girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> so then, so then, then somebody jumped on you. This girl, what did she say to you? Like, uh, basically, two she, women? she quoted my tweet, didn't even retweet it, um, and basically it was like in all caps. Learn to satisfy one woman before you try to satisfy two. Ah, uh, you is- Wanda Sykes joke. That's a Wanda Sykes joke. Oh, I was like, on. what are you, my drunk aunt? Okay, <laughs> but let's get uh, our f- child molester friend Nick Mullen in because this is, okay. he knows who this girl is, which is the funniest shit. Oh my god, alright. <laughs> Nick, you Fuck know the yeah. girl who, yeah. um, I know who everybody is. But I don't think that was, <laughs> I don't think that's too bad what she said back to him, actually. No, no, it's, no, not. it's, it's not. It's fair enough. Yeah, yeah I think so it's then he said, Let me, let me t- also t- say t- this. T- in order to get that threesome to go, you have to run the threesome through the girl, not no, through yourself. Don't oh, coach yeah, yeah. him right now. Dante's on a fucking man Dante. coach. I'm sorry. Dante, He's coaching a young fella. Thank you. Trying to get him this threesome. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Let me explain his girl, though. So that's fair enough. Right, right. You're exactly right. She said it Totally fair. What's wrong with that? So then what'd you say back to her, right? I said, thank Thanks for the advice, random internet butt model, which is all facts and a thank you. So you I don't know. You don't have to qualify it. <laughs> what butt model? He says thanks, butt for model? The fa- thanks for the thanks for the advice, internet butt model. Now that okay. is what touched off the a nerve in her. Shots fired, not her, because she's a yeah. No, all these like wh- who hundreds. is it? Who jumped on you and why? They're all poor. Literally things. hundreds of cam girls and dudes who I think are probably the guys paying their rent. Bitch ass, <laughs> like bitch assness. Pimps, white knights. I guess they'd be called. No, the, oh, wait, yeah. she's a, wait, wait. Okay, so, wait, let me get this straight. Let me Not understand. Pips. Let me understand yeah. what's going on. So she's a camera girl who like dances on cameras. On yeah, something? and she writes blogs on Instagram. About, like, no, no, cam oh. girl like my free cams like like stripping basically. Oh, so she's stripping on the thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And she okay. also writes blogs about like hip hop and doing weed edibles. She's a multitasker. Wait, okay, she's a real go getter. So she's so a trendsetter. Wait, listen. So Nick. 
race because Nick knows all these people because he's been like irritating them for years. <laughs> right. Under right. Thing. So just describe this girl, dude, because you sent me this hilarious thing. She calls everybody. She writes in all caps all the time. Calls everybody white boy. I thought she was black. Yeah. She kept going, oh, typical white boy something. And, yeah. Uh, what? And so here's something Nick sent me where, of her a tweet she made to Lauren Michaels. She goes, for your information, Lauren Michaels, I have more followers than that white bro you hired, which oh, she doesn't, by the way. That's one. She retweeted that. That's oh, that's somebody else. That's and. Oh, that's not her? No, that's someone in that. Oh, what? You wanted oh, to hate her for that, girls that You wanted up. to hate her for that, wow. Kurt. Apologize wow. for that one. Fuck <laughs> that stupid cunt. Now, Nick. Oh! Hey. Oh, oh. So, oh. so oh. good. Shots fired. I fired him. <laughs> <laughs> Even the mic didn't agree with Kurt. It jumped no, out the fucking awful. holster. Dude, I ain't gonna say his dumb clam's name. Either. She's awful. I'm an she's awful person. Terrible. So but listen, Nick, so she's terrible. Explain, explain how she got duped <laughs> from that, what, like, white boy day. No. Um... So wait, did she say back again? What did she say to him? That he's got to satisfy one woman. Okay, first. satisfy one woman. Then he so says he something said, else. Thanks for the advice, internet. Blah, blah, blah. And then she said what after that? A hundred fucking. She said nothing after that. No, she, she said a million things. Crazy. But now he's oh, he's a, a fucking uh, so misogynist. No, there's this whole crew of people that are just very angry, and they spend all all their time online demanding that people pay them. Uh, for, for for being online, they call it emotional labor. <laughs> no, they, they don't. No, they do. Yeah, no, that's the term for it. Is emotional labor is sitting on Twitter all day long, uh, educating anybody that any any quote unquote Yo, what dry kind of dick shit is randos going on that Twitter? show up in your mentions. It's a whole Dude. different world, bro. This is such they, white no, Twitter oh, right here. No, it's not. No, it's this not. is absolutely no, this is not. Not. This girl is not actually Korean. At all. She's this Korean. Is not, no, it's, it's, not black, it's not black Twitter. Combat, it's listen. Not, maybe by it's proxy, called, it's Korean Twitter. It's the Korean Twitter. No, 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 yeah. listen, dude. You it's, know the people who invented it? Wait, 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 listen. Just like Combat knows. It, these are Asians, these are POCs, Combat. Trolls. You don't know what a POC is? People Trolls. of color. Yeah. Persons of color. So now, Kore that is what's so annoying about this Korean. It dude. still ain't black Twitter. Dude, she talks, <laughs> she talks black. I thought she was black because that's how she acts. She, like, she she tweets that yelling in, in slogan, jar jargon, was, right? Oh, no, you did it. Right, like that <laughs> shit. Then, listen, white boys, stop yeah. talking yeah. with your hands in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Say what? Uh, <laughs> oh shit! I like uh, mm, 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 mm. Did she replace so, her R's with her L's? That's dude, how you so knew she was Korean. I right. found out she's Korean, dude. So I started calling her Rachel Dolagong and Rachel Dolagong. Yeah. <laughs> so I had this guy named Toby from Portland who's got lavender glasses and red suspenders. He got pissed. Telling at me how I'm trash and go. I'm like, what did I say wrong? He goes. When you make fun of a Korean woman for sounding black, that is sound so. He wrote so. So can I write? Can I say it? Can <laughs> yeah. I say, hey bitch, stop acting sounding yes, black? Yes, you can. Hey Korean bitch, stop acting. I'm, this is a black dude saying it. Yeah. Can two other black dudes back me up on this? I'm on it. I'm on it. Back. The church hey, agrees, Korean bitch. bitch. Oh no, he's like, uh, he goes, yeah, you and your white friend. He doesn't know anything about me. So it's like, yo, because you're white. I'm like, first of all, you're in Portland. You, I guarantee you hang out more whiteies than I do. Stick to Tagalog. I, mean, I, I would agree with that. If you're that. alive with that beard and suspenders, I guarantee <laughs> you're somewhere. White. Portland is a fucking Williamsburg with a mayor. Artisanal yeah, listen, belt. <laughs> listen, but the nerve of anyone, you know, and I love, yo, you're exactly right. You're, sure, you're dead on. You're dead on. I love, listen, I love Good Portland. Damn it. I, love, I love weird ass Portland. I got no problem. But somebody from Portland has no business telling a man. <laughs> okay? You're a fucking. You sound Kelvin. like Damon Dash now, man. Dude, you got no business talking to men if you live in Portland with red suspenders. Don't ever tell me how to joke. So I go, What's wrong with that joke? He goes. He, he numbered the reasons. Oh. One, you're saying what's stupid. Did he? He, nine, no, I, he, he numbered it. That was number one. And, and you're engaging two. with this dude. Two, two. I was oh, trying to get him to call on the show. What the fuck is two, wrong with you? Two, you're saying Everybody. what's black. <laughs> Two, you're saying what's black? Yeah. Three, I can't remember what was three. I think he just made a queefing sound. But the point is, <laughs> I can't say what's stupid. Did you know that? Because if you're a white, a cis white male. You can't say what's dumb? Yeah. You say, it's not your narrative anymore. He's white shamed. Am, you get white shamed. By a fucking, a crackery. Dude, if you saw the guy, don't tell me <laughs> fucking. a white guy? He's uh, Parker Lewis of white. Of course he is. Just, he didn't even read what this dippy bitch wrote. In red suspenders. So, Santa Claus. But anyway, so so I got in because they were attacking Evan about this. Now I would stomp that guy in a G string. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not the way, guys. Jason. So I want everybody out. That's why I wanted to know from Jason Statham because Jason Statham's a transporter, dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now he knows how to stomp Jason, somebody out. Jason. If anybody has had to fight a Korean girl that pretends she's black, <laughs> I mean, Jason, is there any, maybe you. What do you even call that? A quigger? <laughs> uh, <laughs> dude, can you? What do you do if you're being attacked? 
by a crazy chigro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a good one, man. I, I think just, I should have my dick on your shoulder when I you say those kick words. Her right <laughs> in a pussy. Oh, what, say what? Kick it right in a pussy. Is that? Sure. <laughs> right in a fucking pussy. I don't Jason give a fuck. Statham. Right there. Right, 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 right in a fucking. He knows pussy. what he's talking about. He's had girls on both sides <laughs> yeah. of the pond. And by the way, Shrek, you only have to put your dick on my shoulder for a black thing. I'm not giving. First of all, wigger. You could have 450 years of oppression. I'll give a shit about calling you a wigger because you're white. And if you're Korean, shut the fuck up. You're with white people. Don't try to pretend now. Like now. This is the new thing, dude. The Koreans try to pretend they weren't with white people the whole time, and they're more with the black like people. Like, they wasn't the ones chasing us around yeah. the convenience stores and keeping yeah. an eye on us. You're what I, day. Listen, Asians, you're what I call white, so don't even come at me. The they new, white when it yeah. yeah. white. Uh, you're not, you ain't no person of color. Shut the fuck up. Oh, now, Jason Statham. No, you're not. You're the, uh, listen. Damn. A Puerto Rican, a Puerto Rican sure, you, uh, they signed out with black people. Patrice had this whole thing in his yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we, the Latinos signed out with black people back in the day. They could say that shit. Yeah. And they do on my block nonstop. They were with us when we were shooting in the gym. Yeah. The, chi- the Asians came here to be white people. You ain't, I don't care. You they went to college. The they came dolls. here to be white. You came here to be white. <laughs> so don't pretend to call me white boy, a fucking Korean. Get the, you you're a fucking a, white boy. By, by, I thought, yeah. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, are you? Do you? Uh, what, what, I mean, if you ever encountered this, you have a lot of blonde wig Koreans. You probably got a karate fight, right? <laughs> What? I don't know. Do, do, do you have to fight any blonde wig? Yeah, I saw the blonde wig. I know. I yeah. just kick people in the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, is. what is the martial art that you use? <laughs> it's called Kung Pussy. <laughs> now, Jason, do you ever get into that. do you ever get into Twitter beef? Do you ever get yeah. Twitter? No. Be- what I do is I tweet once and I find you. <laughs> and I kick you right in the pussy. <laughs> That's what I do. Now, That's why I'm the transporter. I was going to ask you to handle it, but I feel like I know what you're going to say. So what's your advice? <laughs> Jason, what's your advice to Evan Hill got a, who got attacked by this wild yeah, beast of a woman? My pussy kicks aren't strong right now. I See? You got to build your pussy kick. <laughs> and right. fucking just beat the fuck out of her. That's what I do. Oh, I don't give a fuck. No negotiation. Just fucking beat. Just, the fuck? I just want to teach him how to get that threesome with these bisexual chicks. That's I mean, what I yeah. want to do. So what? maybe he could have turned this whole beef into a, a, a jump off. Yeah. Yeah. No, dude, so. Is there a way that, to flip that's it? That's my whole battle. The whole is there a way you can flip it, man? Yeah, can dude. we see pictures of the girl, please? Can I please see a picture of her? Do you want to find a picture of her? It's hard for me to see her as hot. She looked at me like her face got hit with a shovel. She's all right. And first of all, Evan, most of the girls I fuck is hard for me to see them as hot. <laughs> um, the head is send down. your mom my love. <laughs> yeah, I don't even, even want to give her name out too much, but if you just nah. find a picture, I just want to see it. Like, she, can I see her picture? Because this, by the way, his Twitter battle ended, yeah, it ended in, a, in an article. He had another article about me. Yeah. <laughs> what? By the it's, Daily Dot, which I, I think it's called the Daily Dot because that's how important it is. <laughs> it's a dot. They cut me out of it completely. They just automatically jumped as if I oh. attacked her for using capital letters. They're like, yeah. and in response to her capital letter writing style, I'm like, I didn't just be like, hey, fuck you and your capital letters. Like, yeah, why is she writing all caps to Dude, I thought she was a transgendered woman when I saw her. <laughs> oh. Did you, does she read as a woman to you? Uh, oh, let me no, see. That looks like let me see. Let me Oof. see. Stop. Oh, like that guy's a, a that looks like a questionable agent. Yeah. She looks fine. Let me see. Let me see yeah. She looks kind of, you know what she looks like a little? Oh. She looks like uh, the Asian chick from The Talk before she had her eye surgery. <laughs> And you can quote me on that. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, sure. What's the name's wife? Yeah. What's his name who okay. runs CBS? Godfrey, who runs CBS? Yeah. Jo- Godfrey, show Jason stays in this Moonves. picture. Les Moonves. Les Moonves. His wife, who's on the talk, before she had her eye surgery, she oh, had yeah, a, awesome. her eyes are really yeah. closed. Yeah. Okay. And then for TV, she changed her eyes. Claudia Cho. <laughs> well, there goes my oh, oh, boy. She's, in file. <laughs> She's on fire right now. I'll just kick her in the pussy. No, no Jason stays on. Jason. Jason stays on. I've already trouble with the fucking Oh, no, internet. Jason. I don't know how to do it in that red coat country. Do? What would you do? Do it to uh, Toby from <laughs> yeah Toby from it took me a day, I'm such a loser, dude. It took me a day to figure out I'm arguing on Twitter with a guy named Toby. <laughs> from First like of I'm all, trying to get his point of view. If your name is to- uh, Toby and it yeah. w- didn't used to be Kunta Kinte, no, he's, <laughs> he's defending <laughs> respect for you. He's defending people of color. I went Toby. Into, uh, did yeah. you meet your defender? That Toby? was the name that they, uh, they turned uh, Kunta Kinte into. That's yeah. not the joke. Right That's right Toby. Thanks right for saving Solid us. Reference. Solid <laughs> reference. Kurt got none of that that roots joke. None of it. <laughs> I went to one of the dude's He's profiles. Of his, uh, Kunta Kente, they made him change his name to Toby. I know. I had a That's bathroom. how white it is. Dude, I had a bathroom. They beat a slave to he no. said his name. His name is yeah. Lavar. 
Kurt was jerking, <laughs> it, dude, Kurt was it, jerking off in the Kingdom Hall. Is it ironic? <laughs> is it <laughs> ironic? Was playing. I want to beat the name Toby out of this Toby. And make him put the hip back. <laughs> Go back to Africa. He'd probably offer that. He'd be like, my people of color, I just feel so guilty. If you could beat me until I call myself a mighty African name. <laughs> I, went to one I of just the... feel it's too problematic to mock anything stupid that anyone would do. I, uh, I went to the... You've one suffered the... too much. No, you've suffered too much, combat. Uh, I wish we could have the girl on here because she much. would be. She would yeah. love us. I begged her to come on. Great. She nice would words. love us. We would have fun. She goes. I and by the way, I sent her a nice message. Okay, which I don't. They, in the article, they show a clip. It still looks all right. Right. And and I'm like, listen, you sound interesting. I'd love to have you call in. She started telling people I harassed her. Okay, so then I just started making Sexual fun of her. Sexual harassment. I started making perf. fun of her. Yeah, they had the order switch in the article where it's like, I, I just mean first. Maybe it's your fault in the beginning. Maybe she's North Korean. Did you check that? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, she, you know, she has the looks of one. They completely oh. cut oh. any of her antagonizing out of the article also. They just yeah. refer to her as a Twitter personality, even though she has 6,000 followers. 6,000? Yeah. And then they're like, Do she was just attacked. You get that for signing up for Twitter. Do <laughs> um, Dr. Cosby, hold on. Dr. Cosby, what do you, how do you feel about a Twitter person? Because I feel like a, a Twitter what, personality. No, what? Now, if you if someone has said that you attacked a Twitter personality, <laughs> I mean, what's the best? What, what kind of suicide should someone commit if they call themselves? You just give them something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> and then the boop a doop a doop. <laughs> Everything is solved with the boop a doop. That's what you do. Oh, man, the like, oh, then the pudding in the face. <laughs> all in the face. <laughs> all down your throat. Oh. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, boy. It's a good thing. You're a nasty boy, Dr. Cosby. Oh, my God. It's a good thing a person of color is making these jokes. Oh. Otherwise, they'd be the too The only far. color is the white coming out of the boop a doop. That's the only color. Right to the what block. a dumb clam she is. All, she it. all caps. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Put it in the pussy. Then <laughs> divide it out. Then you take it in the pussy. And you knock them out. <laughs> and then you bust the pudding in the face. And you do it about 70 times. Oh, fucking everything. Oh I didn't God. know it. Oh my God, no! It wasn't me. Do you want to give a shout out to Toby, me. <laughs> Toby of Portland? Uh, wasn't me. Oh, guess what? Who else is coming in? I believe. Uh, oh, I think that's it. Open it up, Bobby. I, will. I bet you that's racist norm. <laughs> Yeah, it oh. is. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, no. oh Norm MacDonald. Raise oh, yes. boy. Yeah. <laughs> this I, is crazy. I, yeah. I fucking, because I knew it was a special <laughs> thing. <laughs> After this Twitter fight, you know, and I, I, and I knew Jason Says would be good, but r I, I, our new friend, now it's not the regular Norm, it's other Norm. Well, let's norm. talk about, let's talk to Norm about uh, Paula Dean being on this Dance with the Stars. They bringing her back. Oh, yeah. Uh, is she coming back to uh, ABC? Raise his Norm. Because Raise his Norm, you know Paula Dean, right? Uh, you, you know, about, you know Paula Dean. Explain to Norm what's going on. Well, Paula Dean's back on Dance with the Stars. A bunch of people on there. Bendy Irwin, you got your Gary Buseys. Yeah. Racist Norm McDonald, did you? I, how did you come? Know? Why is Paula Dean getting a, another chance uh, in our hearts? Uh, racist Norm McDonald. I uh, how's it going there, uh, Norm <laughs> McDonald? There, <laughs> yeah, Paula Dean there. Imagine that there. <laughs> she hate she hates black people. There. <laughs> yeah, she hates those black people there. Huh? She can't stand them there. Yeah. yeah, they brought her back. They brought her back because uh, the executives who brought her back there, you know what, right? What's that? What? They also hate black people. There. <laughs> <laughs> That's what mm -hmm. they do there. Oh. Oh. Everyone's in agreement there. <laughs> something wrong with them black people. There. <laughs> and there's one thing in a, in a room that people are going to agree on is... Uh, Hating black people there. <laughs> Hate them there. That's right. Yeah. Good for Paula Dean there. That's right. Um, racist yeah. Norm, did you oh, hear about uh, this? What's, what's, that? Her, what's her head? The Korean uh, fake black chick that. Now she's a Korean that talks black that was uh, in a Twitter war, and now there's an article about me because I supposedly harassed her by inviting her on the show. Now I, I guess that would have upset you, racist Norm. So she was a, a Korean girl there, yeah. right there, and then yeah. she was. Trying to act, pretend she was black there. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> man. 
<laughs> and Toby said I shouldn't make fun of that, but I knew racist Norm would tell me it was okay. Man, White Toby. Nothing like uh, lowering the bar there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, let me pretend I'm anybody in the world. I'm gonna pretend I'm a I'm a black person. <laughs> yeah, you got all you get, you a good way to get killed there, huh? <laughs> yeah, they shoot you there, put you in jail there. Just for being black and Asian. Strike two. <laughs> Strike two there. Asian and black. No one likes Asian people. It's just their dumb food there, we like. <laughs> Down the holidays, everything's closed there. You gotta but, call dim sum up there. Now, Get that little Chinese chicky there. Sounds good. But racist nor. And in that there, Chinese don't, and black. Don't you think it's it's problematic for you as a white male? No, because I'm a. You, know, you, you can't. There's nothing wrong there when you're at the top there. You know what I mean? There. I'm superior. I don't know if you know this, but uh, I'm white. <laughs> and We've you noticed. Know that son of a bitch. We noticed. Yeah, I'm so white, I'm the colonel now. There. You know that? They gave me a colonel. and oh, mustache there. I'm selling chicken there. Is that a real rank? Selling chicken to... Guess who? who's buying all the chicken? Black people. The black people. Oh, yeah. Blacks and the Chinese. Selling right to the wow. people I hate there. <laughs> blacks and, and they Chinese. They it. It. They're hungry. You know, well, black people get really, hungry. Who, who, who's making the, the chicken, man? Who's making it there? Probably a Mexican there. <laughs> So you got Mexicans making it, and you got blacks and Chinese and, and Koreans eating it. That's right there, yeah. Yeah, they don't have any money. You changed, no, man. You must be my there. hero, yeah, man. No, man. Why we like, you ever see a KFC there? Don't you, know, don't you know about our campaign there? You got like, for like, for like $2, you get 400 chickens there. <laughs> they don't even cut them up. They just give you a live chicken there. Imagine that there. Just give you a chicken. It's alive. You got to kill it yourself in the bucket. Oh. And uh, black people, they'll do that. They don't care. <laughs> Hey, they're they're not that lazy. They'll they'll cut that chicken right up and eat them right there. Oh, racist norm. They do it. They Jesus play basketball. Christ. They get a good workout. They get hungry there. <laughs> starving. They're starving there. <laughs> You gotta uh, eat that, get that bucket there. Wow. <laughs> I'm offended. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, well, I'm well, it's very offended. You notice there, that's why uh, I'm offended. Because black people love basketball there. That's why our chicken comes in a bucket. Oh, my there goodness. There. <laughs> so you, know, you can eat a duck. Bucket. You can there eat a duck at the same time. Two point, it's, yeah, it's Sink two the points. bucket. Three pointer there. Oh, wow. man. Hey, you know what? You know I heard enough out of this there. racist noir. I know. He really comes hard with it. You are not the same guy I remember from SNL, sir. Yeah. You're not him. It broke well because we have oh Caitlin we have that news about Hulk Hogan right? Well, Caitlin's going to the news. I don't know. Go to oh, you know they. But first of all, this whole Hulk, uh, not Hulk Hogan. First, we're gonna go into the Superfly Snooker store. Mm. Oh yeah. shit! Because oh, that yeah. whole thing broke okay. on Opie and Jimmy. Fucking Opie is Columbo. He Columbo the guy. <laughs> Opie and Jimmy got to the bottom of it, and they got Superfly Snooker locked up thirty years after the fucking murder. And now, how did how'd that happen? They he was on it. He was on a show. Snooker was on a show having an interview with Opie and Jimmy. They do it right in the studio. Right. And um, they was just asking questions about what happened thirty years. Because Jimmy read the book. He wrote a book. He know his girlfriend died when he, she was twenty three. Just back in like 1983. Suspiciously died. Suspiciously right. died. And then um, the Jimmy was asking about it. Then Obi was like this. What happened to her? And then it got, he got quiet. They didn't say nothing. They was videotaping it too. Then he's like, no. What happened? <laughs> what happened? And I, I guess the motherfucker broke. He broke. Something over him. They didn't Guilt. trust, and they used that in the court papers. Like they, they used the interview in Did the court papers to say that as evidence that his story changed up too many times since the since Yo, the murder. Oh, that's Damn. crazy! Yeah, and they they arrested him. I'm not going on that show, dude. I'll <laughs> 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 be fucking took too a many nigga. Damn, uh, Jack, what happened? <laughs> I mean, dude, dude uh, yeah. Well, he's 72 years old Combat and he's fatality. got stomach cancer. So yeah, he got now, stomach cancer. That's yeah, why they said they're not keeping him, and they rushing it ahead so, though. Hold on, they rushing the trial. Like when? No, he's not still. No, when he murdered. Oh yeah, he was in the height of it. They uh, won. The family won a civil suit, so they couldn't. They didn't have the evidence for a criminal trial? suit. Wow! Yeah. But they, they, the family won a civil suit for five hundred thousand dollars that he never paid. Yeah. Because he said that he was just broke. Yeah, he's a Dang wrestler. Broke, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Snooker yeah. didn't make Hulk Hogan money. No. 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 He's a open coconuts with his head. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't make Roddy Piper money. That's dope, though. But yeah, he's, uh, he's going to jail. And he's going to rush the trial because he got stomach cancer. So I don't think they're keeping him in jail right now. He's out. But fuck. Fuck. I can't believe Opie is the fucking Columbo. Yeah, he did it, man. He did it. Yeah. He took a Perry Mason to him where he just had to uh, admit 
That is, this happens on Law and Order. So only. When's, when's Cosby going on the show? <laughs> yeah, where's Cosby? Did he leave? He does. Uh, yeah, he does. He had to step out. He had a, a rape in the hallway. Oh, yeah. Doctor Cosby. <laughs> what other news stories you got for us, Caitlin? Well, speaking of Hulk Hogan, uh, he came out and apologized for his racist comments. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. We were so, all I mean, for I don't him. know if that counts. He as said a he was story. raised in a neighborhood where everybody used the N word. Yeah. Yeah. You notice any no black people in your fucking neighborhood? Stupid. <laughs> 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 well, his daughter. His he daughter's tried his best forgiven to him. him. He he feels like he's at peace, so he's telling us to be at oh, peace. Oh, Brooke, Brooke forgave him? Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> that's convenient. So he feels fine about that. And also, McDonald's is going to be offering breakfast all day. That's unbelievable. Is that yeah. a news story? That's the biggest news here. You what? what? McDonald's would... got breakfast all day, serving McDonald's Dude, that's breakfast all, all day. That's all I want out of McDonald's. They should have been did that. Yo. <laughs> We're back when I ate McDonald's. My diabetes. They're just waiting to drop yeah. it. Can we, like, I just want to ask combat because yeah. we didn't really get into it, but is there any, like, some hip-hop shit we should know about that you have been breaking on your show or anything at all? Uh, Help a white boy. Well, Kanye's uh, running for president. Let's yeah, talk about that's that. that's going to be pretty hot, man. What? He announced nice. on VMA that the he's on. VMAs, a, yeah. <laughs> Now, did he stab Hillary in the back by that? Because he was supporting Hillary. Remember, they took all selfies uh, was, was he supporting Hillary? Him and, him and Kim was taking all those selfies with Hillary, went to a fundraiser. No, is he really running for president, man? I, I mean, it's I Kanye. Mean, I mean, it's Kanye. That, that boy, Ooh, that boy's special. In all fairness, it's the Kanye's very special. He's special. Well, that's why they describe Trump, but he's yeah. running. I'm <laughs> split, that's true. You know, yeah. I'm split between Kanye and Trump now. Now I don't know who my guy is. Who's the biggest <laughs> asshole? Who would piss people off the most? I know. It's a toss-up, mm. man. Because Kanye's a beautiful asshole. Oh, Kanye makes great music, though. He really does. He, does. he, great, he yeah. makes great music. Absolutely. Well, and Trump makes, makes great, great hotels. Yes, and uh, yeah. apartment buildings. Apartment buildings. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't make the hotels. He just puts his name on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Even better. Well, yeah. Nice. yeah. He's a smart man. Hey, I want to be the nigga nailing stairs in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. The Mexican. <laughs> That's Do you right. know he hammers every nail of those stairs himself? <laughs> what, you want Carlos? You want Carlos on the outside of the building? Hmm. Norm, That's the Mexican guy Norm, work. would you vote for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Norm, would you vote for Kanye West? That's a Who good are you question. voting for? No, Kanye he, West, Norm. Yeah. Yeah, no, why would I vote for him? He's black. Oh, well, okay. But <laughs> just on the Racist that. Norm McDonald. Who are you voting You're for? You're a Chinese Lisa? person running. I'll vote for them for that. What about Trump? You go Trump? I like that guy, yeah. <laughs> what do you uh, like about man him? Man of the people there. That's what he's doing there. Man of the people. I'm glad that Norm is a fucking Kanye. Canadian. Kanye well, West there, man. That speech, that speech there, man. What was, about it? That was longer than Hillary Clinton's lost email list there, man. <laughs> man, was, oh, man. Long. It went on it forever long. there. Man, oh, man. It went on. But we want to know what happens when he goes into the grocery store with his daughter and has yeah. a foolish conversation. Yeah. Which grocery store Who, and when? I want to push him so hard. <laughs> 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 Who, Kanye? Yeah. Or racist norm? <laughs> I would still vote for him, though. I would vote for Kanye. You'd vote for Kanye? Why not? That nigga's crazy. You know why? Yeah. Because he's just crazy. imagine who he's going to be running against. A bunch of nothings like running now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody's President. and nothings on top of nothing. President Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. That next tape going to be fire, though. But, dude, can we yeah. have a sex tape yeah. in the White House? Presidential. Can you have a woman as the first lady? No. 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 Yeah. Hey, I have no, no problem with black people in the White House. I have I'm a problem with Armenians. Tape. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they shed. You I mean, gotta, there's so what? many women out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, are they going to have a, roy a lint roller or something for the <laughs> oh, man. for the first, you know? You're a sick Jackie bastard. Kennedy, say what you will. She decorated nice. Never sh never got fur all over the fucking <laughs> living bedroom. No, she you know? wasn't a shedder. You know Caitlin? What? Yeah. Oh, yep. Caitlin beat Nick at the fucking... Uh, the On the road. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Nick. She got yeah. she take it down. She naked beat you. Yeah. What happened at the Rose Battle? What happened? You just shined, huh? Yeah. What jokes did you use, Caitlin? Tell me. I don't know. Like, I, no, we're did not going to do the jokes. I, you? I mean, you can watch it on YouTube if you can want. I? Come on. Yeah, yeah. You know it's available on, on YouTube. You know, I'm just you know going to freeze frame it on Nick's face when he loses. There's Nick. no shame in it. No, it was a fun. It was a fun battle. We went up first, and it was a it was a really fun night. Nice. Yeah. Who hosted that, Lewis? Yeah, Lewis that hosted. Lewis? Christian Finnegan, Aparna, and Joe List were the judges. Okay. okay. Who yeah. was uh, who else was doing it? Uh, shit, Lisa Traeger, uh, Drew like Michaels. Her. You know Lisa, I want to get her. Mateo on. Lane. Yeah, I got. I told Lisa she's doing it. We did that. She yeah. did the game show with me on a uh, game uh, show she's network. A cool that was easy to figure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she's great. I have to go against my ex girlfriend. She's Jessica good people. You just keep thinking about her pussy, though. Every time you, you said her name just now, you. Who? Oh, no, no, that's the other girl. Uh, Eliza. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's true. I do think about her. <laughs> she made a because you know so corny, dude. I don't even know. Maybe she's nice. I don't really know her. She's probably cool. Dude, Fine. why are you touching well, the microphone awesome. with your lips, she's sweetie? That's uh, what he does. Because I'm I'm that's trying to uh, nasty, uh, welcome that's everyone to the world. That's herpes. white people stuff. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like kissing that's, dogs. They that's, kiss dogs. That's peak caucasity right um, there. Peak <laughs> oh, title, dude. Peak yeah, caucasity. Peak caucasity. Put that? That's our title. That's it. Good job. Good job. Come back. Good job. My contributions of mankind. Peak caucasity. Oh, good one, man. Um, and Kurt will never reach that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, yeah, Delfino. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, you're battling Delfino. I have to battle Delfino, yeah. And y'all know personal stuff about her because she used to be your lady. Yeah, one time, well, she was a stripper when I met her. And, uh, Whoa, you doing jokes already, nigga? <laughs> no, this is just a true story. But here's the thing that's funny about it because she had a show that I did one time and I told the crowd this story. <laughs> Because <laughs> she wanted to sing this song, My Pussy is Magic. And by the way, it's just a pussy. Yeah. So <laughs> fucking, it's not magic. No, pussy's magic. So what's worse than trying to pretend like. It's just a bunch of, you know, fucking smoke and mirrors uh, down there. I did name my dick uh, <laughs> Dra Vlad, son of the dragon, but I, okay. I don't like the when impaler. girls. <laughs> my, the impaler. But, uh, my dick is Dr. Dick Dastardly. But one time, <laughs> He's a doctor. Dude, if you dance on a pole all night, because like, she used to look hot in her fucking outfit when she came home, you know? Yeah. I was like, I want to eat your pussy right now she's like you should not do that <laughs> <laughs> but keep in mind, it's like, everything in there dude, I'm, 19, I'm 19 so I'm an idiot I'm like no I want to eat it right yeah. now so, so you dude, knew you knew what you were doing age, nigga. you knew what you were looking culture. dude it's, it was like a fucking full roll of nickels had been kept in there for years by the way. <laughs> was it like a metallic kind like of a irony metallic kind of and sulfury dude, I went, oh. it smelled like a oh, inside of a boxing glove no, dude, yeah <laughs> it's not <laughs> dude <laughs> it smelled like helmet. It smelled it like a child's volcano. Like, ah. like a child's volcano. Oh, I was such a fool to say something like it was like, like an H.P. Lovecraft novel <laughs> of horror that dares not speak Love its it. name but drives men mad <laughs> with just the smells like Cthulhu's awakened breath. <laughs> That's what her fucking clam smelled like. Anyway, did you enjoy it? Oh man. Yeah, whatever. You know, you, you, we, <laughs> we, we, we persevere. Power through. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. persevere. You want to keep it on is how I was raised. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, fucking. You grew up with this son of a bitch. So I told Poor it, brother. Yeah. Oh, my brother's never heard this story. Ryan, I have to. Tell He's over there weeping right now. He's weeping. Room, my room, brother, room, my brother's so proud of me. So I go. Uh, so then uh, I told the story on stage, and after she's like, "Can you not tell that story?" Like I, I have to go sing this song. My pussy's magic because they need to think. I'm like, nobody thought your pussy was magic. It'll Jess. destroy you the illusion. Up. Please smash your ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I blame you because you fucking. That's when you was banging her when she was pure of uh, fucking singing songs and stuff. No, she got more into that later. It was after, you know, it's so funny because even then. I think she's hilarious too. Even that, she doesn't, she, I haven't seen her in years. I, maybe she's great now. Because uh, uh, Caitlin, uh, fuck out. <laughs> fucking make a, I, I can't even think of the thing now like you know this naked show thing that i yeah. was on to like so that was so jessica is like full of those ideas so, oh yeah 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 so uh, like yeah, i yeah. had like a thumb on yeah. her <laughs> I, mean, I couldn't yeah. have been more discouraging with anything that she wanted <laughs> yeah. to fucking I'm like yeah. i don't understand why you're doing any of this will you write a goddamn joke and she's like, i used to <laughs> judge you too by that i used to a, judge you like all these niggas fucking i'm gonna get a small just fucking guitar bitches just to be fucking them but to, honestly God, if you play ukulele um, no he just, look, he uh, was disgusted by her do you know he was like you and yang in the pussy. Like, he wanted to be like, down no, with it, dude, and, she and he wanted to break listen. off with it too. And, uh. No, she dumped me. It's, I was ready to kill myself when she dumped me. That's how much I was did into. You really try to kill yourself? I didn't have the guts to go through with it, but I was poor ready us. to kill myself. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> poor us is how he said. It would be reasonable with The way I forever. wanted it. <laughs> You'll have to hear this voice forever, you piece of shit. I know. Yeah. Well, I was really into it. She she dumped me. Oh, you know what? She did tricked you, me into dumping cry, her. You, you got to remember oh, that Kurt dude, started was, dating late in yeah. life too. She's fucking the second girl I ever had sex with. Second girl. That was in my the life. second girl. Twenty two. Yeah. At, uh, Nigga. Yeah. It, I guess it's twenty two. Wow. Twenty two. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. I was with her for like six mm. years. The pussy was magic. That's why when he had that. When you're right, you're right. That's why when he had threesomes and stuff now, he loses his mind. He's twenty two for the first time. It's all new to Kurt. It's like no, watching it's a little kid. Now it's it's Nirvana, now, dude. But at the time, yes, yeah. it was. I'm talking about when we first met. <laughs> yes, that was near to me. It was all brand new. <laughs> yeah. Damn, yeah. son. My brother doesn't know about none of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Because my brother was dating a girl for a while, and he just fucking, right? You didn't, you didn't want to get married, ultimately? Yeah. Yeah, it was just that. But it was like a thing. Like It was one of them families where they, you have to get, it was like a, 
ethnic Catholic family where it's right. like, when well, you going to give us some grandkids? Yeah, but don't move up the house. <laughs> <laughs> what a yeah. backward people. And then you all move in together. We're, we're in your business all day. <laughs> That's a good fucking stool. I don't know what they eat. <laughs> That's not how you make Dude. a fucking sandwich. Make a better gravy. <laughs> <laughs> then your job is to stir the gravy for the whole family. <laughs> It's like that kind of shit. Yeah, don't okay. <laughs> Real loving family. I come home, you make gravy for everybody. <laughs> it's like, why do they call spaghetti no, it's 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 gravy? I, <laughs> like when Ryan was first, this is years ago, but when Ryan first dated her, she told me the girl's brother like put his arm around. He's like, listen, uh, Ryan, my sister's a virgin, and uh, she better be that way in a wedding day. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like what are you in The charge? brother of the girl said that to you? Ooh. Yeah. What are you like a fucking... What are you in charge of your family's <laughs> yeah, okay. pussy? It's like, look here, third I, dude I'm in Jersey unit. boys. Boy, you are really a Beat fucking... Beat it, dum-dum. What are you from fucking... Hey, we're from Hoboken. That's how we do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm from Saudi <laughs> Arabia, really. That's how we handle the pussy in our families. She can't walk nowhere without a brother. <laughs> Was she Italian, this girl? No, Polish, I think. A Polish? Polish. <laughs> but in, uh, but she's a very nice girl. I have to say, I really did. She, had, she was a very nice girl. I just like I having like old it. school reactions and stuff. <laughs> a Polish? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I did like it. She was a sweetheart, but the, it was just that shit of like. That... In my barbershop, <laughs> a fucking Polish. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, holy, the circa 1933. <laughs> we don't cut your kind's hair, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Guido. Oh, man. Yeah, that's how, but where we live, it's like everybody's a Guido no matter what your background is. Yeah, Jersey. You know, it's, it's Irish, Polish, you Italian Guidos. Oh, is, there, is it time for. Are we out already? We're almost out. We only got two damn, minutes left. Damn. Oh, shit. Time that flies, man. We're going to get to Kentucky. Let's make a baby. Oh, what well, do you got plugs? <laughs> What's your plugs, man? Oh, yeah. Go combat. Go, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Do, Combat, Combat, Combat Jack. Jack. Yeah. Combat Jack Show. You can catch me weekly at thecombatjackshow.com on Twitter at Combat underscore Jack. Um, and you can catch my show on iTunes, The Combat Jack Show, SoundCloud, The Combat Jack Show. Salutes. Nice. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Goddamn, yeah. Combat Jack. Yeah, he's a pro. He's still a lawyer in his I blood. Mean, he's still exactly. a lawyer. Dude, he named our episode. Yeah, he did. That's that a was perfect, perfect name. Yeah. Perfect name. Hit What's it. up, Dante? Uh, you can check me out on the Beige Phillips Show. Learn how to manage a bitch. Uh, <laughs> you hear that, Aaron? Aaron, you hear that? Pam. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a bitch sans manager. You <laughs> <laughs> should connect. Um, you, can, you can follow me on Twitter at Fire Dante nice. Hero. Uh, also at the Beige Phillips Show. www.beigephillips.com. Also, if you need a one-on-one one consultation you can hit me at save me dante at gmail.com save me get dante. my threesome going yeah. can you help lenny marcus get a girl <laughs> you get Len dude lenny it's so funny save if you me. see lenny what he looks like it's, save a, me. it's the funniest thing of dante saving his he's, he's such an upper east side never she jewish guy that dante saves. he needed help and he really I about, you know i have just about 15 dudes on on the load that i've oh. fucking well, helped through okay. their breakup Aaron, we, we got a that. plug uh oh uh, yeah, Jezebel.com is still every single day publishing good shit, and you should check it out. And yes, they're the good Aaron's site. part of his family. She knows she yeah. part of the race wars family. Hot fire. No, listen, I don't even know why I was asking these idiots to be on the show, because I already know Aaron. Like, I, I'm asking the open micers of this shit to come fucking do it. <laughs> not, not one of the attackers has more than 600 followers. They're, they're, it's like, oh. I just we just help by mocking them. We just help them so much. Uh, Kaylin? Well, Kaylin? Yeah, absolutely. Tune into Crass to Mouth, buy tickets oh, to the I've Naked Show. Oh, our spinoff podcast. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely Crass to Mouth. That's right, how I got like that. fucking beef Bob the Bono. The and then uh, Bobby. Bob? Uh, yeah, you can go to a uh, KFC <laughs> near you uh, and see me uh, selling chicken to black people there. <laughs> and wait, you can do that. Norm, I forgot. I'm at Caroline's okay. the 10th and 11th, headlining, and uh, little Nick Mullen, fresh from his defeat at the hands of Caitlin, yes. is my future. <laughs> I think Caitlin beat him out for those spots. And Will, so I was going to prank him and tell him that I already booked it. He lives with a you know, goddamn pit in Chinatown. Uh, Shameful. It's uh, and Will Sylvans is a host. All right, is, is he still Caroline's. a joke still? Still still a joke? Who? Yo. Will Sylvans. He stole somebody's stuff? <laughs> he steals That's a different episode. That's a different what? episode. <laughs> well, he better Listen, not yeah, catch me on the comedy show all week. Listen, uh, Race Wars, thanks for coming out. And this yeah. next song coming up, we're going to play a song oh. on our way out. Halsey, oh. Drive, new yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs>